This is the Bearcat Sports Network. It's time for Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. 101.7 KSAM has every dribble, swish, and squeak from buzzer to buzzer live. Now let's head down to the floor with the voice of the Bearcats, Rob Hip. Well, a pleasant good afternoon, friends, and welcome back to Thibodeau, Louisiana. We are live here at the David R. Stoper Gymnasium and want to welcome you in. I'm Rob Pip. We are set for round two, really, of this doubleheader. We had the women's game first, and now it's the men's game here this afternoon on the Bearcat Sports Network. It's the Southland Conference opener for Sam Houston men as they look to get started on the right foot after coming into this contest today on a little bit of a hot streak after taking care of business versus Rice versus UOT, uh, UT Rio Grande Valley, and then Mary Harden Baylor back at Johnson back on December the 29th. I had a moment to catch up with head coach Jason Hooten. We'll go ahead and play that interview now, and then after that when we come back, uh, we'll talk more. Actually, we'll step aside for now. We'll take a break. I'll come back. We'll talk more, then we'll play that interview. Stay with us. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. This is a call I make two times a year without fail. I'm talking about all temp heating and air conditioning. We're heading into that time of year where you don't want to have your heating unit quitting on you. So call all temp heating and air conditioning for a service checkup. For fast, professional services that won't bust your budget, it's got to be all temp heating and air conditioning. They've been serving Huntsville and Walker County for decades. When you call, they'll send one of their technicians to get your system up and running again. That's all temp heating and air conditioning. This is Nolan Ryan. So what's it going to be? Hot dog or a hamburger? Hill Country or the Gulf Coast? Making less and making choices, that's life. Choose wisely. Choose American Standard Air, dependable home comfort today and for years to come. You have more important things to worry about than home comfort. Making life simple, that's American Standard Air. Comfort the way you like it. AmericanStandardAir.com That's all temp heating and air conditioning. Call them at 936-291-7836. Welcome back, friends, live from Thibodeau, Louisiana. It is Sam Houston State men's basketball, the Nichols Colonels hosting the Sam Houston State basketball here this afternoon. we got about 8.30 before we get things started in this doubleheader, so we'll step aside. I had a chance to catch up with head coach Jason Hooten. We'll play that interview now. Rob Pip here, pregame with Sam Houston men's basketball coach Jason Hooten. Coach Hooten, how are you doing this evening? I'm good. How are you? Oh, doing wonderful. Just uh, ready for a new year. It's it's hard to believe it's already 2021. And, you know, conference play is here, of course, and in Thibodeau. And looking forward to this conference opener versus Nichols. Before we get into that, Coach, just briefly wanted to ask you about the last game back on uh, December the 29th versus the University of Mary Harden-Baylor. It was a 101-59 to victory, the fourth time this season that the Cats have eclipsed that century mark, taking care of business. Just your thoughts on that game. Pretty impressive win against a, a Division three opponent that's a pretty tough team. Yeah, they've got a real good team. Uh, I think they're going to do uh, fairly well in their conference this year. And, you know, we came out, I thought, early and played very hard defensively and kind of created the, uh, the tempo of the game the way we wanted. And, you know, in those kind of games, it gives everybody an opportunity to play. And, you know, we got out to a really – big lead 30 or 40 points and and that enabled us to get a bunch of guys in and you know I think we cleared the bench with maybe 10 minutes left in that game which you know was what we wanted to do uh, we wanted to go in there so that we could get some running in and we hadn't played since the real game real grand game on the 21st and so we felt like it was important to get one kind of a tune-up game so to speak before the conference started. Coach, impressive in that game. You talk about players such as the junior, Javion May, with 18 career points, and then the true freshman, Jaron Cook, right behind with a new career high of 16 points. How impressed have you been with these young players during this, you know, kind of first season, if you will, before we start conference play? Yeah, those guys have started to really come into their own and grow. Uh, I think that, you know, everybody's starting to kind of find out where they fit in. And, you know, it has a lot to do with just being around each other more and playing more games and more logging more minutes. Uh, you know, I was extremely pleased with Javion in that game as he, you know, it really started that that whole mindset of us defensively, you know, getting a bunch of steals and some easy baskets. And then, you know, to end up getting 18 points, he shot the ball really well. I think he was like seven for eight from the field. Um, but we've been really pleased with him and his defensive presence. 
And, uh, and then, you know, what can you say about Jaron is just that, you know, he continues to improve as a freshman, you know, getting this experience that he's been given and, and taking advantage of it. You know, a lot of times young kids get it, get the opportunity and, and don't always maybe have the success that he has had so early on. Uh, but he's been really patient and, and, and waited his turn, so to speak. And, and now he's taking advantage of that, as I said, and just playing really good and shooting the ball well for us right now. Well, Coach, of course, today facing the Nichols Colonels to open Southland Conference play. This is a team that last year was a tough team. Nichols uh, was not able to secure a victory, lost both of those games, the one in Thibodeau, 82-88, to and then back at home in Huntsville, which you very rarely lose a game at Johnson. But this Nichols team, like I said last year, very tough, a 58-70 to loss there at home. Kind of the mindset heading into this one uh, here today, going to be a tough Nichols team. Uh, but you guys are soaring right now on a three-game winning streak heading into conference play. Well, they're they're a top four team in our league. There's no question, and they've shown that over the last three or four years. And you know, Coach Clanch has done a great job in that program, and you know, Richie Richie done done so well, and now South Alabama's doing well, and and so they've kind of started to build something over here. And we know how good they are. Uh, they've got our respect for sure. And you know, as you said, beat us twice last year, uh, once at home by 12, and then I think we lost by six here. And and, and played fairly well here. Uh, they just played that much better than us. And so we know we have our hands full today. Uh, they have a lot of new players like we do. Uh, they're very talented. They're very deep. Uh, they have great guards and some really versatile inside players. And uh, again, we just know we've got our work cut out for us. So we're going to have to play a really, really good basketball game, a lot like we did against Rice and Rio Grande in order to come out of here with a victory today. Well, Coach, uh, you know, coming from the New Year's, a little bit of traveling involved. How were practices? I know that you got a shoot around, a little bit of a shooting going on yesterday, of course, and then getting out here today. Tell us a little bit about the practices and just kind of that transition from the New Year, the time away, and kind of hopping right over here to Thibodeau today. Yeah, you know, I mean, we got back from Rio Grande like at 4 a.m. on the 22nd, and, you know, our guys got to go home for about four days. And then, of course, you know, that we came back and played Mary Hart and Baylor and we had a good practice on Wednesday, and then Thursday we started our preparation uh, for Nichols. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think our guys are ready. We've got, some, you know, like Zach and a couple of Lampley and a couple of those guys who've been here and done that, so to speak. And, you know, we always talk about freshmen. You know, they're actually sophomores by now, and your junior college guys are in their second year, uh, so to speak, because you're, you know, second term. So I, I think our guys have learned a lot in the first session, uh, you know, in, in the first 11 games. We've also been very blessed to play 11 games. There's not a lot of teams in the country out there that can say they've played as many games as we have. So I think that's helped us in our experience and in our preparation for conference. You know, we played a tough, tough, tough preseason schedule, uh, maybe as tough as we've ever played. And I really feel like our guys got a lot out of that. Uh, you know, I know that there's some of those things that – you know, that you can't control, uh, you know, maybe getting the, the LSU game moved to that Monday and then having to turn around and play on that Wednesday. But I do think that you take a silver lining of all of that, and that is it's going to get us prepared for today against Nichols. And, and the most important part of the year uh, is your conference season because, you know, if you don't do well in your conference season, it's not going to give you a chance to have any postseason at all. And postseason is always our goal here at Sam Houston State. And we just want to try to get better, uh, continue to get better. But I told our guys, you know, just taking each game one at a time, and we've got 16 of them left. And we need to try to get as many of these as we can, and especially road games. Coach, final question before uh, we let you go. And, again, appreciate your time. Keys to victory in this matchup today. Well, we've got to take good care of the ball. You know, they turn people over at a high rate. And, uh, you know, taking care of the ball is something that we haven't done a great job of this semester or last semester, so to speak. And so we, we need to do a good job today. We need to take really good care of the ball and, and, and make this a possession game for sure. And then we've got a rebound. Uh, I think those are two things right now that come to mind against a Nichols, a great nickel State team, but also something that we need to do better overall as a team. And then I just think the last thing is we got to continue to execute and, and run our stuff. And, you know, we're getting better and better offensively. We're feeling – a lot more confident in what we're trying to do and that everybody kind of knows their roles now. And, and so we've got to do a good job of that today of really running our stuff and making them guard us in a half court. Um, and again, taking care of the ball and rebounding and, and then, and, and then just doing a good job of executing and, and playing our game, you know, playing at our pace, not their pace. 
Well, Coach, as always, appreciate your time. I know this is a quick trip facing three games on the road to start the season in Thibodeau and then Hammond and then up at Central Arkansas there at Conway. So a lot of traveling. Not much time for Boudin on this trip in Louisiana, Coach. You know, it's, uh, I think it's a good time because we're not in school yet. And so travel-wise, uh, you know, the guys aren't missing any class. And, you know, it's tough to have to start off with our three longest trips of the year. You know, these are all three of the longest trips we have uh, to Thibodeau, to Hammond, and to, to Conway. But, you know, once they're done, then we're finished with those for the year. And, you know, and it's also three road games, which is hard to start on the road. But I told our guys if we can come out and, and sneak a couple of these – uh, and put ourselves in a really good position, you know, for those next 13. And uh, quite a few of those will be at home. And so we just got to do a good job today of, of coming out and establishing ourselves and, and setting the tone early. Coaches, always appreciate your time. Looking forward to this one today. And we'll see you on the court. Have a good one, Coach. Okay. Rob, thanks for being here. Well, this concludes our pregame show with head coach Jason Hooten. When we come back, more of the pregame and tip-off. Stay with us. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas from Adam's Furniture. That's right, folks. It's Christmas time. We're having a huge Christmas sale. How about Lazy Boy? $3.99 for a recliner. $4.99. $5.99. Big man's chairs. Little ladies' chairs. They're all in stock, ready for immediate delivery. Listen, come in right now. We have a big mattress sale going on with the largest mattress dealer in Huntsville. How about Tempur-Pedic? How about Sealy? 60 months, interest-free financing. Listen, we also have a bed. You buy the queen-size mattress. We're We'll give you an adjustable base for free. Hey, that's a Christmas deal from Rudolph. Come on in, folks. It's happening right now at Adams Furniture. How about sofas for $3.99? Hey, we've got room packs for $8.99. This is a huge Christmas sale going on right now at Adams Furniture. This stuff is in stock at my store. It is ready. All the store has inventory in it. Come in to see us for our Christmas sale. It's going on right now. Remember, that's Adams Furniture at 75 North and 10th Street or shop online at shopatadams.com. Welcome back to Thibodeau, Louisiana. Men's basketball moments away as tip-off coming up here in just a few moments at Sam Houston tonight facing the Nichols Colonels. Should be set for a good one here. We'll quickly go over starting lineups this evening for the Nichols Colonels starting out at guard. It's a six-foot, 160-pound senior guard from Thibodeau, Louisiana, number three, Kevin Johnson, hometown young man here tonight. A six foot five hundred, six foot five hundred eighty five pound senior guard from Atlanta, Georgia, number eleven, Jeremiah Buford. A six foot four, two hundred pound senior guard out of Little Rock, Arkansas, number thirteen, Andre Jones. A six foot eleven, two hundred eighty pound senior center from Slidell, Louisiana, number twenty one, Rajay Lyons. A six foot seven, two hundred ten pound junior forward from Lexington, South Carolina, number twenty two, Rajay Garvin. For your Sam Houston State Bearcats entering tonight's contest at six and five, opening Southland Conference play here tonight on the road at guard. It's a six foot two hundred hundred seventy pound senior from Phoenix City, Alabama, number three to Marcus Light the Lamps Lampley at guard. Six foot three hundred eighty five pound junior out of Bryan, Texas, number ten Zach Nuttall. At guard, six foot, 290 pound junior guard out of Chicago, Illinois, number 11, Javion May. A six foot, six, 210 pound junior forward out of Deer Park, Texas, number 12, Tristan Ikpe. And last but certainly not least, for your Sam Houston State Bearcats, it's 180 pound junior guard standing at six foot, two out of Starkville, Mississippi, number 24, Dante Powers. So again, for Nichols, it is Johnson, Buford, Jones, Lyons, and Garvin. And for Sam Houston, it's Lampley, Nuttall, May, Ikpe, and Powers. This is the 55th meeting between Sam Houston and Nichols. The Bearcats 30 and 24 against the Colonels, dating back to the 1979-80 season. Sam Houston 6-3 in the previous nine meetings between the two schools. They dropped both of them last year, so this year it's redemption. The Cats 6-4 in the Southland Conference openers under 11th year head coach Jason Hooten. 
Sam Houston 4-0 at home, 2-4 on the road to start this season. The Cats have won double-digit Southland Conference games for seven straight seasons. That's the longest active streak in the lead. They are tied for the longest all-time with Sam Houston teams from 2004 to 2011. And then going back to last year, the Cats clinched a spot in that Southland Conference tournament for the 10th time under head coach Jason Hooten. It marked the 18th straight season that the Cats qualified for the Southland tournament. That is also the longest active streak in the league. Excited about this one? Remember that Bearcat fan text line is open tonight. You can text us. Let us know you're here. 512-522-9105. The opening tip controlled by Nichols in their white jerseys and white shorts. The numbers in red outlined in black. Nichols written across the front. Stepping inside the paint and immediately it's an offensive foul to start things as Rajay Lyons a little too aggressive and the Cats will have it after taking an early foul. As the first personal on Rajay and the first team foul as we get things rolling here. 20 seconds gone in the first half of play. Cats moving from left to right. And a travel here on Sam Houston goes against Dante Power. So it's back-to-back -back turnovers to start this game. Sam Houston tonight in their black jerseys, black shorts. Those shorts trimmed in Bearcat orange and white with the half triangles along each pant leg. That new Sammy logo above the numbers on front. The numbers in Bearcat orange outlined in white. The Colonels have it moving from right to left. As... We'll get it rolling here. Garvin goes over to the right wing, driving in baseline. This one thrown up, and it almost gets knocked out of bounds, thrown to the rim. Johnson will take a three from the left wing, and it's good for three. Damian Johnson, that's his first three-pointer of the season, according to our notes. They've only played six games, a lot of cancellations due to COVID for this Nichols team. And now a backcourt violation against Zach Nuttall. He can't believe it. He's talking to the official saying, wait a minute, and... Not all, he just says, okay, and <laughs> kind of puts up a finger and says, whatever. 3-0, <laughs> the early score here in Thibodeau. Nichols up front, the women's team winning earlier as well for Nichols, defeating Sam Houston in the opener. So the men are going to try to make this trip one and one for Bearcat Athletics. Back in the backcourt, Nichols has it inbounding, moving from right to left. It's Andre Jones. Jones at the Nichols logo, top of the three-point line, rolling around to the right side, drops this one off. Three-pointer Johnson, the shot no good. A rebound swinging around, and it finally goes to J.B. on May and the Cats. Not all wanting to run on the right wing from the inside the three, drops this one down low to May. May kick out back over to the left side. Three-pointer here. This shot no good for Dante Powers, and the rebound to Nichols. Nichols. Colonels leading 3-0, 10, 18-40 to go here in the first half. Kevin Johnson has it for the Colonels, top of the three. Long three-pointer, airs this one off the right hand, shot no good. A rebound Lampley goes to Nuttall in the backcourt. Nuttall all alone in that backcourt as he brings it from left to right across the Nichols logo at center court. Handoff over to May. May with a right-handed dribble. High screen, rolls around it from Ikpe. May still has it on the right wing. This time has it over to Dante Powers on the right wing, and Powers turns it over. So a lot of turnovers here to start things for the Cats. They've already got three in this ball game. That's something that Coach said they've got to take care of. Take care of the ball, limit the turnovers. As this Nichols team can force them, they've done it already three times here to start things. Colonels leading 3-0, 18 minutes, two gone here in the first. Driving inside over the left corner, it's a three by Johnson. Way short, the air conditioner must have turned on. Lampley has it on the far side from left to right. Lampley lighting it up, yes, going off the right side of the glass for DeMarcus Lampley. And the Cats on the board for the first time tonight, trailing three to two, 17, 48 to go here in the opening half of play. Andre Jones has it wide open, slam it home. Well, that gets the limited capacity crowd here on their feet. At Stover Gymnasium, 5-2, catch trailing by three, 17-32 to go in this conference opener. Nuttall looking over, this one thrown away and it gets knocked out of bounds actually by Kevin Johnson with 16 seconds on the shot clock. Ty Gordon will check in for the first time tonight for the Colonels, heading over to the bench, Jeremiah Buford. Nuttall will inbound on the sideline, opposite end of his scoring bench. And I guess what you would consider the home crowd side as the way it's laid out here at Stouffer Gymnasium. So Nuttall again to inbound, guarding up top on him is Gordon. Nuttall looking into the back court instead goes over to the front court. He'll find Javion May. May working a right-handed dribble on that left wing, picks it up, he's trapped. 
quick bounce pass over to Ikpe. Ikpe, right hand, trying to drive inside. Turn around, swoop, doop, good for Ikpe. 5-4, Colonels by one. The Cats back-to-back -back baskets here with 17 minutes to go in the first half. Trap in the front court. Turn around over to the left wing. It is Johnson. Johnson spinning around. Not all great defense on him. Quick pass back over. Johnson now wide open. This shot, good. Rattles it home. Boy, just moments after I said great defense, and Johnson got free and able to nail a three from that left wing, and the Colonels with an early four-point advantage. It's their largest, 8-4, to 16.50 to go. As the Cats will call a timeout, we'll step aside for 30 seconds on the Bearcats Sports Network. The holiday season is here, and that means Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event is too. Like getting a $3,000 rebate and 0% interest for 72 months on a 2020 Cadillac CT4 or CT5. Thinking of an SUV? What about a $2,500 rebate and 0% interest for 72 months on a Cadillac XT4 or XT5? We also have the all-new redesigned Escalade arriving daily. But these deals won't last long, so hurry down for the Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event or shop us online at WiesnerCadillac.com. Welcome back live from Thibodeau, Louisiana. It's Nichols leading the Bearcats 8-4 here in this men's basketball conference opener. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob Pipp. As this is game two of our doubleheader, the Bearcat women losing a tough contest earlier in our first game. Bearcats to inbound the basketball over to Nuttall into the front court. Nuttall bounces it off the feet of Demarcus Lampley, he's able to save it. Nuttall will turn around from the right elbow. Shot rattles in and out, won't fall. Rebound, though, to Ikpe. Ikpe, turn around, yes, for Tristan Ikpe. Boy, you give the six foot eight junior forward space down there, he'll haul it in and use that big body, and now sliding back the other way. It's a foul against the Cats. Uh, the foul there on JV on May. It is his... First personal in the Cats' first team foul. 16-23 to go here in the first half. Nichols leading by two, eight to six, as they defeated the Bearcats both games last season in Southland play. Pesky defense turned over. The Cats have it. It's Ikpe all alone. Slam it. Oh, man, he came down hard. Oh, he's hurt. He hurt his tailbone as he went up to the rim and tried to slam it, and it got jammed at the rim. It didn't fall. And now a three back the other way from the corner by Ty Gordon, and Ikpe finally getting up there. He was hurt for a minute. He hurt his tailbone. He was trying to slam that one home and just jammed it off the front end of the rim. It didn't fall in, and Ikpe hopped up. Boy, he was hurt there for a moment. A quick foul is called here back the other way. After Ty Gordon nailed that three-pointer, Andre Jones with the assist. So the Bearcats back with possession here, trailing eight to six, moving from left to right. Dante Powers in the backcourt, brings it into the front court on the far side from left to right. Quick handoff over to May. May wanting to work inside the paint. Right side, high floater, won't fall, rebound to the Colonels. Sears had the rebound. Quickly back over to the left side, Buford. He'll take a three. Yes, good. Three-point land is friendly to the Colonels so far tonight as they are four of seven from downtown. Not all back on the right side. He'll find Powers, and now a three-pointer Lampley trying to turn on the lights early. It won't fall. And Sam Houston early here, 0 for 1. The Colonels have it back, moving from right to left. It's Garvin. Flip this one inside. Bearcats trying to force a turnover. A lot of bodies on the floor here. The whistle blown and a foul. We'll see who this is called on. Oh, man. It's one of those where you got it's a foul there on, it's on uh, Najee Garvin. So the foul will go against the Nichols Colonels. They've got an eight-point lead early out of the gates here on their home court. 15-12 to go. Nichols Colonels leading 14-6. We'll step aside for a minute on the Bearcat Sports Network. Get on out to the Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar for Taco Tuesday. With fish or shrimp, fried or grilled. Thursday night is steak night. Charcoal grilled, hand cut, choice Angus ribeye. All you can eat catfish and fries every day for $10.99. The Big Easy sells fresh homemade boudin. Packaged and ready for pickup. Great for grilling out at home, the deer lease, tailgating and camp out. Dine in or to go orders at the Big Easy. Full menu and bar at the Big Easy. Big screen TVs and family friendly atmosphere too. And live music every Saturday night. The Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar on Sam Houston Avenue. Open at 11 Tuesday through Sunday. Closed Mondays. 
The holiday season is here, and that means Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event is too. Come check out these great deals at Wiesner of Huntsville, like a Chevy Traverse for only $25,345 or a Chevy Half Ton Crew Cab for only $28,986. Want something a little smaller? Get a 2020 Chevy Equinox for $20,986 or a Chevy Trax for $16,986. These deals won't last long, so hurry down for Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. Welcome back, friends, live from Thibodeau, Louisiana, here at David R. Stover Stadium, Gymnasium. I'm Rob Hip. Nichols Colonels leading by eight over the Bearcats, 14 to six. Talking a little bit about Nichols here as we come out of the timeout. It was exactly a week removed from an ear upset in state power. LSU followed a 25 day hiatus due to COVID 19 protocol. Nichols heading back here to home tonight to square off against the Bearcats and what has become the team's home and Southland Conference opener battling the Bearcats here at Stouffer Gym. And so far they're taking care of business leading 14 to six. A lot of games were on the slate in December and the Colonels only playing two of those. They played at St. Mary's in a 50 to 73 loss back on December the 1st and then a losing to LSU 80 to 86. Uh, the Cats lost to LSU as well, but Nichols a close one there to their in-state companions at Louisiana State. They had many more games on the slate, six other games, in fact, in December, and all of those games canceled, of course, uh, due to COVID issues. And so now back in action here and finally getting to play and open up Southland Conference play against Sam Houston State. Again, 14-6 to six the lead. Colonels by 8, 15-12. We're almost five away here in this first half to get things started. Coming out of the timeout, the Bearcats will inbound. Back on the left side, they've got to move it all the way to the right side of the court. Nuttall to inbound on the baseline. Nuttall looking, quick pass goes into the hands of Bryce Monroe, who checked in for the first time tonight. So Monroe out there crossing the Colonel's logo, handoff over to Lampley. Lampley back to Nuttall, top of the three-point line. Nuttall's going to have to bounce this one away. He does over to Crump, back over to Nuttall. Nuttall trying to wiggle his way inside the paint from the right elbow, throws this one over and has Jaron Cook turn around here by Manny Crump as he spun around 360. The shot wouldn't fall for Crump. Colonels wanting to run quickly. Another three from the left wing. This shot good again. Ty Gordon wide open and nailed it. They are in rhythm tonight from downtown, now shooting five of eight from three-point land. And it is a 17-6 early advantage for Nichols. The Cats here got to find something. As Nuttall goes over to the right wing, Cook will take a three. This one well short off the right side of the rim. Rebound goes into the hands of Rajay Lyons. And the official is giving a warning here to the Nichols bench, telling uh, the Nichols bench they got to settle down as they're all standing up. And I guess the official didn't like that much. The girls were doing it earlier. They let them play through it. But here with the men, they told them to sit down. Not sure what, what's going on over there, but they told the bench to sit down, and now the Bearcats coaches, Coach, Coach Hooten, telling his bench the same thing, to sit down. 17-6, to six, Colonels up front here, 14-15 to go in the first half. They've got the ball moving it from right to left. It's Johnson. Johnson, top of the three-point line over to Jones, back into the hands of Ty Gordon. Gordon wanted to penetrate inside, now finds Johnson on that right wing, and a foul here called against Bryce Monroe as he reached in a little too aggressively. So Bryce Monroe picking up his first personal. It's the second team foul for the Bearcats in the first half. Bryce Monroe picks up around three or so fouls a game. Got one early here. 18 seconds on the shot clock for the Colonels. Working a left-handed dribble. It is Andre Jones. Back around the world we go to Buford. He'll take a three, yes. My goodness, the three-point land is friendly tonight for Nichols as they have a 14-point advantage, and most of those coming on three, 15 points off of three-pointers alone. Monroe back the other way. He'll throw it up off the right side of the glass, and Monroe is fouled. He'll go to the line shooting two. So the freshman guard, Bryce Monroe, an aggressive move to the right side will put him at the charity stripe here. He's 72% free throw shooter, 18 to 25 on the season for Monroe. Trying to give his team some sort of life here. They're scoreless in almost three minutes as Nichols has went on a 12-0 run during that time frame. They're on a 17-4 run in just over four minutes, making six of their last seven baskets. So Monroe at the line here, shooting two. Trying to stop this drought. Free throw on the way. Yes, it's good at the bottom of the net. 
as Jaron Cook will check into the game for Zach Nuttall. And Najee Garvin will check in for Raji Lyons. Second free throw on the way. This one rolls in for Bryce Monroe. 20 to eight, the Colonels lead by 12 with 13.37 to go here in the first half. On the far side, moving from right to left is Ty Gordon. He's guarded by Lampley. Lampley able to screen or take away from that top screen. Pass quickly over to the left wing to Johnson. Back into the hands of Garvin. Garvin turned around on the baseline. Slammed it home, but no, the foul. As Bryce Monroe took the charge. The freshman coming alive here in the first half on the defensive side. Najee Garvin with his turnover. It's his second personal foul. And already... Five team fouls, four nickels. Bearcats only have two fouls to start this ball game. Bryce Monroe will bring it in the front court from left to right. Working his dribble on the far side. He picks it up, guarded here by Kevin Johnson. Handoff goes over to Manny Crump, and Crump finds Powers. Powers trying to go all the way over to Monroe. Monroe baseline, bounce pass, slam this one up, no good, as he was trying to feed it to Manny Crump. And now Nichols back the other way. As Johnson thought about a three, and another three here from the top of the wing. This one good for Ty Gordon. My goodness, it is raining threes here in Thibodeau, Louisiana to start the new year. 23 to eight, six of nine from downtown. The other way, it's a three. Cook lights up the fire. And that stove is on fire now for Jaron Cook as he finds a three from the right corner. Back-to-back -back threes from either team, 23 to 11. Nichols in control in the paint. As Johnson thought about another three instead, goes over to Buford, top of the three. Now Johnson gets the pass, three home. Oh, man, it's another three from the right wing for Johnson. And Coach Hooten wants a timeout. The entire, oh, I thought he wanted a timeout. The entire bench coming off for Nichols. The bench coming off the court for Nichols. And you got to be careful. The officials have already given him a warning over there. They came off the bench in celebration. So Nichols nailing the three-pointer. Kevin Johnson had it there just a few moments ago. We'll keep things right here as a coach talking things over. We may be in a timeout as well. Again, 12-12 remaining here in the first half. Nichols leading 26-11. We've got that fan line open tonight. If you're out there listening back at home on 101.7 KSAM, we'd love to hear from you. Send us a text message and let us know who you're cheering on tonight. And actually, it was a... A foul called against the bench for coming off, and so shooting free throws here is Jaron Cook. He puts up the first one. Good for Jaron Cook. He's got another one here. Second free throw for Jaron Cook. This one good as well. So Jaron Cook makes both of the technical free throws as the bench came off for the Colonels. And once again, if you're out there listening, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know that shout-out to 512-522-9105. Again, that number is 512 512- 522-9105. We'd love to hear from you tonight. A lot of friends joining us as well on our social media channels. X-Hip joining us. Mr. X-Factor joining us tonight. Good to see you, my friend, and thanks for joining us. So after the technical free throws were made, 26 to 13, your score. The Colonel's up top. Sam Houston will inbound the basketball on the left side. It is Powers into the hands of Bryce Monroe. Monroe working the crossover dribble on Ty Gordon on the near side from left to right. Bringing it into the front court. Monroe uh, looking. Has it back over to Powers. Powers top of the three. Crossing over his dribble. Almost gets it knocked away. Able to hold on to it. Powers backs off. Now wanting to pass and has that pass over to the left side. It's Jaron Cook who hit a three moments ago. Cook will find Lampley for three. Cook. This one away. The assist. Lampley. Yes. Turn on the lights to Marcus Lampley. Back to back threes for the Cats. Leading by, trailing by 10, 26 to 16. The Colonels back to the left side. It's Andre Jones. Flips this one over to Buford on the left wing. Now it's Gordon. Gordon top of the three. Over the right wing, Jones. Jones will find Forns. Forns back over to Gordon. Gordon with 10 seconds on the shot clock. At the top of the three, trying to find something on the inside. Back over to Jones. And now a three-pointer from the right corner. Good for Jalen Forns. My goodness, it continues from three-point land tonight for the Colonels. I don't know if they've came out this hot from three-point line. 
Leading 29 to 16 from left to right. Now it is Powers, and Powers flips this one up. Good off the backboard for Powers. The 29 to 18. Sam Houston finding some baskets, but the three-point frenzy continues here for Nichols. Buford has it, top of the three. Right-handed pass over to Forns. And Forns now to Johnson, who's been hot. Kick out over for top of the three, three. This one on the way, this one won't fall as looks like Jeremiah Buford was trying to get into the action. He said, why not? Back the other way, three, Bearcats, Monroe. This shot no good from the right wing, rebound Sears. Action continuing to move quickly here as Tristan Ikpe trying to steal it. And they're gonna call a foul here more than likely on Ikpe. We'll see what the call is. As Ikpe reached in, it does go against Tristan Ikpe. 29 to 18, your score 10 20 remaining here in the first half. We'll step aside and take a break for a minute on the Bearcats Sports Network. B I L C O. Finally, a reason to celebrate. The holidays and cool weather are here. Don't let Jack Frost nip at your nose. Stay cozy with Bilco Air Heating and Cooling. As a local, family owned business, we take your comfort to heart. That's why right now we're offering furnace check specials during December and through January. Call 936 646 6691 or visit BilcoAir.com to learn more. Happy holidays and remember, it's hard to stop a train. B I L C O and Bilco is the way of. Now through January the 9th, join Anytime Fitness Huntsville for only $1. Located on Sam Houston Avenue, Anytime Fitness Huntsville is offering a special promotion. Now through January the 9th, join for only $1 and enjoy access to America's number one fitness provider. Membership includes unlimited tanning, personal training, and 24-hour nationwide access. Anytime Fitness Huntsville is devoted to providing the cleanest gym in town. Let's make healthy happen for only $1 at Anytime Fitness Huntsville. Back from David R. Stouffer Gymnasium in Thibodeau, Louisiana, the Nichols Colonels leading Sam Houston men's basketball 29 to 18 with 10-20 remaining here in the first. As Nichols coming out and shooting a blistering three-point frenzy, they are nine of 13 from downtown. That's almost 70%. You add that up times three, 27 of their 29 points have came from three-point land in this ball game so far, the only field goal outside of three-point land, well, that was Jones as we saw him, Andre Jones, get inside earlier. So other than that, it's been a difference of a three-pointer. So the Cats can just get a hold on these three-pointers. They can easily claw their way back into this game, currently trailing again 29 to 18. Well, Sam Houston on part of a three-game road stand to start things. A lot of traveling right out of the gates here for the Bearcats in Southland play as, uh, of course, here today at Nichols. And then on January the 6th, just four days from now, be in Hammond, Louisiana, at southeastern Louisiana. That's a 7 p.m. tip-off. And then on the 9th, just three days later, uh, we'll battle Central Arkansas. So the first three games, the longest road trips of the season right out of the gates for the Bearcats. And then finally going back to a three-game homestand, hosting Lamar, Houston Baptist, and Abilene Christian. So, But they want to get out on the right start of things here on the right side of the court if you will to open southland conference play and so far here this afternoon it's just been a domination of three pointers by nichols again leading 29 to 18 the colonels will inbound after the timeout goes into the back court over to ty gordon gordon guarded by lampley on that left side quick bounce pass down low inside the paint turnaround jumper here falls off the rim no good rebound ikpe so the Cats trying to push forward. It's Bryce Monroe. Monroe inside the paint, throws it up. Monroe, yes, so oh, and one for Bryce Monroe. What a play by Monroe as he went inside the paint, threw it up, and it fell and got the and one. Well, Monroe out of the gates here has uh, been a bit of a spark with four points, trying to make it five here. He's two for two from the free throw line and completes the and one here. 29-21, it's an eight point Colonel advantage. They led by as many as 15. Sam Houston now on a 5-0 run over the last minute. The Colonels inbound, moving from right to left, crossing over that Nichols logo at center court is Andre Jones, not all guarding him. Over to Buford, now the handoff pass to Johnson. And around over the right wing into the hands of Andre Jones. Turnaround jumper here for Pollard, that shot good. 
And Quavius Pollard checked in moments ago and a turnaround jumper from about eight falls off that right side. Back to a 10 point advantage, 31-21, catch trailing. Monroe gets a bump on his way inside. Maybe sold that one a little bit there as Pollard will be called with the foul. Definitely not in the act of shooting. It's the first personal and the seventh team foul already. So the Cats, with 9.32 remaining here in the first, will shoot free throws the rest of the way. Monroe at the line, who has remained perfect three for three from the charity stripe so far this afternoon. Monroe, first free throw, good. He'll have another one coming up. 31-22. Or 31-21, rather. Misses the second one. So 31-22 the score as he missed the second one. Sears back for Nichols, has it on the left side. It's Johnson on the right wing. Double team retreating now over to the left wing, Ty Gordon. Gordon thought about a three, drives inside, swings this one over to Andre Jones for three. This shot no good, so Jones missing one here. Nuttall has it from left to right on the far side, and it gets tipped around from behind, and they'll say it goes out of bounds off of Nuttall. So it was a tip from around the back. I believe it was Johnson knocking it off of Nuttall. And it goes right back to Nichols, holding on to a nine-point advantage, 31-22. 8.55 to go here in the first half. Colonels into the front court, left-handed dribble. This one up, hard-fought shot, no good. Rebound to Damian Sears, turnaround jumper, won't fall. And the rebound goes to Tristan Ikpe. So Ikpe hauls it in on the defensive side, hands it off to Monroe as he moves from left to right on our near side. From the right wing, drops it off over to Ikpe. Floater, flip and dip, up, no good, gets his own rebound. Pump fakes once, left side, shot, no good. He made the shot, but the travel negated it, and the shot, no good. And Nichols back with it, moving from right to left, bringing it across. Center court is Jones, guarded by Nuttall. Chest pass to Gordon. Gordon, left-handed dribble, picks it up, slings it over to the right wing. Over the right corner now, Johnson trying to penetrate inside, picks it up from just beyond the paint. Over the left wing, Buford trying to feed down low, turned over, goes into the hands of Ikpe, he's able to save it, goes to Monroe. Monroe quickly, nut off from the corner. No, it's Lampley, yes! Oh, mama, what a shot by Lampley with the hand in his face. He denied Ty Gordon the shot up and good for Demarcus Lampley. Lampley with two three-pointers. It's 31 to 25, the Bearcats cutting in to the Colonel's lead with 7.46 to go. Off the left side here as Andre Jones able to find life off the left side of the rim and he nails the shot off the layup. 33-25, Bearcats trailing. They have made three of their last four from downtown. Here's Monroe, jumper, way too strong. A rebound, Lampley, the put back, good for DeMarcus Lampley. And DeMarcus Lampley coming alive here in the first half. 33 to 27, Nichols in the lead. But the Bearcats trying to chop away. Back over to Buford and a foul here. As two cats go down and we got a foul on the court against Sam Houston. See if free throws are coming up when we come back. 7-10 remaining. Colonels leading 33-27. to We'll be back in 30 seconds on the Bearcats Sports Network. Courage, integrity, perseverance, commitment. Not just a job. This is a career with a purpose. TDCJ is hiring correctional officers now. No experience required. Paid training. The signing bonus of up to $5,000 apply right now at tdcj.texas.gov or call 877-967-5489. Serve Texas with purpose. 33-27, the Colonels leading by six with 7-10 remaining here in the first half. Welcome back to Thibodeau, Louisiana. I'm Rob Pipp. Want to say hello to everybody back in Huntsville, Texas, as we're excited to bring you Bearcat basketball this season. Now we brought you the UT game earlier in the year, that uh, tough contest for Sam Houston. They played a lot of tough teams, right? 
out of the start as they faced Southern Methodist in a 97-67 loss. They played in Lubbock at Texas Tech on November the 27th, an 84-52 loss. And then battling Boise State, an 86-55 loss in that contest. That was at Dickey's Arena in Fort Worth. Uh, but then the Arlington Baptist game was canceled on December the 1st. Played Dallas Christian at Johnson. Won that game 117-42. A couple of days later, hosting Howard Payne, victorious in that contest, 117 to 54. The highly anticipated Houston matchup, that game was canceled. So the Bearcats picked up Letourneau. That was a 107 to 65 victory. Then lost two in a row at LSU, 88 to 66. And at Texas, Texas ranked number 11th at the time, a 79 to 63 loss there in Austin. But you gotta give them credit. They fought hard against that University of Texas team. Came back on the 19th at home at Johnson, an 82-69 victory at Rice or versus Rice. And then at UT Rio Grande Valley, 69-66 victory. And then our last game back on December the 29th before New Year's, hosting Mary Harden Baylor, a Division III school, the Crusaders. The Bearcats picking up their fourth 100-plus point victory or crossing that century mark over 100, 101 to 59. Of course, here we are, New Year, 2021. January the 2nd at Nichols and currently trailing only by six, 33 to 27. As we knew that three-pointing could not, I mean, you can come out and hit them and they're gonna keep shooting them, Nichols, uh, but eventually it's gotta cool off. They're nine of 14 from downtown, 27 of their points coming from that three-point line. The Colonels have it. Johnson has it, top of the three-point line. He's guarded by Powers. Floats inside, that one partially blocked from behind by Manny Crump, the Cats wanna run. Nuttall from left to right on the near side. From the top of the three, he'll drive in. Nuttall streaking his way off the left side of the glass. Zach Nuttall call NASA as he turned on the Rockets. 33 to 29, the Cats only trailing by four now. With 6.45 to go in the first. Jones flips this one up, a blocking foul called against the Cats. Boy, and the coaching staff are beside themselves right now for Sam Houston. Is for sure thought that the Cats took a charge there, but it's going to be a blocking foul instead and going to the line shooting two are the Colonels. As Rajay Lyons checks back into the ball game. Also, Najee Garvin. Andre Jones at the line shooting two. He's only two for four from the free throw line entering this game. Played in three games. That's it this season. Andre Jones, his first time at the line here tonight. He'll bend his knees. Jones, a right-handed free throw. Good. 36-29. 6.37 to remaining here in the first half. Dante Powers brings it into the front court. Trying to take a high screen from Manny Crump over to the left wing. Drops this one off. Over to Jaron Cook. He'll take a straightaway three off the front of the rim. It won't fall. And a rebound goes to Najee Garvin. And now Nichols wanting to run. Quickly to the left side. Andre Jones from inside the paint in the semicircle. Finds his man and he can't slam it home. Rajay Lyons missed the dunk. Lampley wanting to cut inside the paint. Right side. Oh, man, that one was coming down, and they're going to call a goaltend. That's a goaltend, if anything. We'll see if it's a foul. Maybe they called a foul. I thought it was going to be a goaltend. No, it's going to be a foul on, well, we'll see who the foul is. It's on Kevin Johnson. That's his first personal and the ninth team foul. So the Cats at the line here in the act of shooting. Manny Crump will go to the line shooting two. So Crump, the six foot eight junior forward, one of the tall ones on this Bearcat team. Eight of 15 from the charity stripe this season, shooting 53%. And here in this ball game at the line for the first time tonight. Crump's right-handed free throw, the first one rattles in and good, he'll get another one. I guess they say it's not in the act of shooting. Now that was a one and one. So Crump does make the first one though, pulls it back to within six, 36 to 30, 607 remaining here in the first half. Crump takes his time, takes three dribbles, bends his knees, right-handed free throw shot, rolls in, won't fall. A rebound to Najee Garvin. And the Nichols men want to push forward across the logo at center court. Crossover dribble, Jones sneaking his way. Now to the left side, he'll find Johnson for three. This one won't fall from that corner. Rebound, Nuttall. Nuttall wanting to run. Nuttall takes a straightaway three. This one won't fall for Zach Nuttall. And bodies on the floor again. It was Javion May, but the rebound goes to Nichols. Johnson trying to work from that left elbow now. A right-handed dribble and a right-handed pass over to Jones. Bouncing around a, to Gav. This shot up by Garvin, no good. A rebound high to Zach Nuttall. 
Nuttall quickly working from left to right. Nuttall has it, streaking his way inside the paint again, loses the handle here as that one may have been stripped by Rajay Lyons. The ball goes out of bounds with 21 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Sean Williams out there on the court for Nichols as well, who checked in moments ago. 21 seconds on the shot clock, 36 to 30. Bearcats trailing, but they've got the ball here on the inbound after it went out of bounds just moments ago. As Dante Powers inbounding under his own basket on the left side. Looking for something to develop, tries to thread it to Crump and it gets knocked out of bounds, thankfully, because that would have been a turnover. And a few more seconds gone, 20 remains on the shot clock as the ball goes out of bounds off of Nichols. High up to Lampley, straight away three, Lampley, yes! Oh, Mama, what another shot by DeMarcus Lampley. The lights turning on tonight here for DeMarcus Lampley. It's a three-point Colonel advantage. The lead has been cut. Once was 15, is now down to three. 36-33, five minutes to go here in the first half. And now a foul, a dead ball and a whistle. The foul goes against Manny Crump. First personal on Manny Crump, six team foul, so one more foul by the Cats will put the Nichols Colonels in the bonus. Sean Williams will head back over to the bench. Jeremiah Buford in the ball game, inbounding just in front of the scores table on his own side on the left side of the rim. He'll throw it in the backcourt to Andre Jones. Jones guarded by Javion May. Jones over to the right wing, now traded off over to Nuttall on the defensive side. Najee Garvin, he'll find Ty Gordon for three from that right corner. Shot no good. Nuttall with another rebound. Nuttall moving from left to right. Right hand dribble crossover. He'll take a three. Zach Nuttall. This one won't fall for Nuttall. And a rebound goes back to the Colonels. Andre Jones. Jones working inside the paint. Flips it up as it gets knocked away. The ball goes out of bounds off of the Cats. They wanted it. They're not going to get it, unfortunately. Great defense there by Javion May. So 23 seconds on the shot clock remains here for the Colonels. They'll inbound the ball on their side of the court under their own rim on the left baseline. Again, 36-33. It's a three-point Colonel advantage. They led by as many as 15 back at the 12-16 mark, 26-11. Inbound goes over to Johnson. Johnson trying to thread this one down low. Knocked out of bounds, and they're going to say it's off of the Cats. As he was looking to Najee Garvin, checking back into the game, Rajay Lyons. So Lyons will come into the game as Garvin heads over to the bench. And Garvin played in eight minutes, no points. He's only put up one shot, didn't make it. Inbounding is Johnson with 16 seconds on the shot clock. Over to Lyons. Quick handoff back over on the give and go to Johnson. Now to the right wing, it's Buford for three. This shot well short. They've cooled off now from three-point land. Nine of 18 now. Cats with an opportunity to tie it with a three or get it to within one on a field goal. As Powers has it in the front court from left to right on the right wing. He's guarded by Buford. Top over to Lampley, who's been hot from three-point land. He'll drop it back off over to Powers near that left wing. Now rotates over top of the three back to Lampley. Lampley calling for a high screen from Crump. He'll move around to the left side. Four on the shot clock. Lampley takes an awkward jumper. It won't fall. He tried to create separation, forcing an awkward jump. It was still a good shot, though, but it just wouldn't fall. Back the other way, Nichols puts up a shot. This one good as Ty Gordon able to find some daylight down there on the right baseline. 38-33, it's a five-point Colonel advantage. Powers has it, drops it off over to Ikpe. Ikpe loses the handle, picked up by Crump in the paint. Crump, right side, yes, and one, Manny Crump. Oh, what a play by Crump. As he'll go to the line for an and one opportunity, Manny Crump. The junior finding some rhythm down under the basket for the Bearcats. And that will take us to a timeout. 38-33, an and one opportunity coming up for Manny Crump when we come back in a minute on the Bearcat Sports Network. The holiday season is here, and that means Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event is too. Come check out these great deals at Wiesner of Huntsville, like a Buick Envision for only $26,986 or a GMC Half Ton Crew Cab for only $36,986. Want something a little smaller? Get a 2020 GMC Acadia for only $25,986 or a Buick Encore GX for only $21,986. These deals won't last long, so hurry down for Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. 
Get on out to the Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar for Taco Tuesday. With fish or shrimp, fried or grilled. Thursday night is steak night. Charcoal grilled, hand cut, choice Angus ribeye. All you can eat catfish and fries every day for $10.99. The Big Easy sells fresh homemade boudin. Packaged and ready for pickup. Great for grilling out at home, the deer lease, tailgating and camp out. Dine in or to go orders at the Big Easy. Full menu and bar at the Big Easy. Big screen TVs and family friendly atmosphere too. And live music every Saturday night. The Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar on Sam Houston Avenue. Open at 11 Tuesday through Sunday. Closed Mondays. Welcome back, friends. Live in Thibodeau, Louisiana, the Nichols Colonels leading Sam Houston Bearcats 38-35. to And an N1 opportunity coming up here in just a few moments after we come out of the timeout. I want to remind you we're out there tonight. If you're back at home in Huntsville listening on KSAM 1017 of the Bearcats Sports Network or if you're on our social media streams all new this year, feel free to text us. We'd love to hear from you. And let us know where you're listening from tonight. 512 512- 522-9105. Again, that fan text line is open. Again, we'd love to hear from you. 512-522-9105. By the way, all new this season as well, it's the Jason Hooten Radio Show. Live from True Texas Barbecue, our good friends at HEB and True Texas Barbecue presenting the Jason Hooten Radio Show. We'll have that live on Monday, 6.30 p.m. from True Texas Barbecue. Come out and support Bearcat Athletics. Hear from head coach Jason Hooten, players, and more. It's the all-new Jason Hooten Radio Show at True Texas Barbecue and on 101.7 KSAM. 3.20 to go here in the first half. Bearcats trailing 38-35. And junior Zach Nuttall showing his superiority here this afternoon. And, you know, he picked up his first Southland Conference Player of the Week awards for the first time in his career. And you talk about all the great games he had last year. He got it as the free throw is made here, completing the end one opportunity. Pulls it to a two-point advantage by Crump. Back on December the 21st, Nuttall had three solid performances as the Bearcats dropped two road games at LSU. And number 11, Texas picked up that win at Rice, averaging 20 points a game and just under five rebounds. So congratulations to him. Also named the homecoming king. Foul back the other way as... The Colonels put it up. That shot attempt there by Najee Garvin wouldn't fall in, but he's fouled, and he'll go to the line shooting too. It's the seventh team foul by the Cats. It was in the act of shooting anyway, so Garvin here at the line shooting too. Garvin, 9 of 16 on the season from the free throw line, 56%, as he averages 11 points a game. He'll spin the ball, bends his knees, right-handed free throw shot on the way. This one good. So Garvin will make the first one, checking back into the game. Tristan Ikpe for Manny Crump as he'll get a quick discussion and a pat on the back from head coach Jason Hooten. 39-36, three-point Colonel advantage with 3.05 to go here in the first half. Garvin made the first one. He'll bend his knees here. This free throw on the way and good as well, so makes both of them. Isaac Johnson checking into the game, the six foot three junior guard for Najee Garvin. So it is uh, Buford, Johnson, Gordon, Jones out there on the court for Nichols. Nuttall, May, Ikpe, Powers, and Lampley for the Cats. Actually, Robertson, or Powers, is out there. Powers takes a jumper. This shot good for Powers. Nice look by the junior guard as he created separation on the right side and able to nail that jumper. Brings it back to within two, 40-38. to 38. Colonels lead by two. On the left side, it's Andre Jones. He'll find Gordon. Gordon working inside the paint. Tries to drop this one off. It's out of bounds off of Johnson. Isaac Johnson was not ready for it. And that ball goes out of bounds. Opportunity for the Cats to tie this game. They have not led in this one so far tonight. Nuttall has it on the right side. As he'll work through, drops it off over to Powers. Powers to the right wing. He's guarded by Buford. Looking over, Lampley, long three. Yes! Oh, mama, another shot by DeMarcus Lampley. He continues to burn the lights tonight, and it's 41 to 40. And a steal here by Nuttall. And they say Nuttall stepped out of bounds. Oh, man. Oh, Nuttall with a nice play inside as he snagged it, and then Zach Nuttall stepping out of bounds. I don't think Coach Hooten kind of standing in awe over here saying, are you kidding me? 
and a little bit of moisture out there after the play as well. The Cats take their first lead of the night, 41 to 40, with 2:02 remaining. Remember, they trailed by as many as 15, and now sliding down there was Tristan. No, it's uh, Javion May. There is so much moisture on this court. Oh man, as Javion May took a huge hit down there it was incidental. But there is so much moisture on this court on both sides. As players are slipping all over the place. They got to get this cleaned up. That can get dangerous quickly. And luckily, Javion May hopped up. He got knocked in the head as he went down. And as I said earlier, it was just purely incidental. But still, Javion May took a, or it took a hard hit down there. And luckily, he's OK. And regardless, it was a foul. So Javion May will go to the line here. And shooting two as the Cats are now in the double bonus, 10 team fouls. The foul was called on Andre Jones, his first personal. So Javion May at the line here, shooting two for the first time tonight at the free throw line. Right-handed free throw shot won't fall in as it rattles out. He's only a 59% free throw shooter, 13 of 22 entering tonight's contest. It's Coach Klontz talking things over with his team. Second free throw, this one well short, so misses both of them. Not able to capitalize on the foul. And the Colonels will bring it back into the front court. Andre Jones from right to left. Jones in this game with seven points. Pass over. This one way too high, and it goes out of bounds. He way overthrew his teammate, Najee Garvin. And a timeout called here by the Colonels. 143 remaining in the first half. The Bearcats on a one-point advantage, 41-40. to We'll step aside for one minute on the Bearcats Sports Network. The holiday season is here, and that means Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event is too. Like getting a $3,000 rebate and 0% interest for 72 months on a 2020 Cadillac CT4 or CT5. Thinking of an SUV? What about a $2,500 rebate and 0% interest for 72 months on a Cadillac XT4 or XT5? We also have the all-new redesigned Escalade arriving daily. But these deals won't last long, so hurry down for the Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event or shop us online at WiesnerCadillac.com. B-I-L-C-L. Finally, a reason to celebrate. The holidays and cool weather are here. Don't let Jack Frost nip at your nose. Stay cozy with Bilco Air Heating and Cooling. As a local, family-owned business, we take your comfort to heart. That's why right now we're offering furnace check specials during December and through January. Call 936-646-6691 or visit BilcoAir.com to learn more. Happy holidays, and remember, it's hard to stop a train. B-I-L-C-O and Bilco is the way Back from Thibodeau, Louisiana, Bearcats on a one-point advantage, 41-40 with 143 remaining here in the first half. Thanks for joining us. Not all will inbound on the opposite end of the court on the baseline as the Colonels have three back there in the backcourt. He'll drop this one off over to Powers. Powers double-teamed Gordon down there trying to trap him. Powers got to move it into the front court. Finally finds Lampley, advances it into that front court on the right side. Powers, plenty of time on the shot clock, 20 seconds remaining here as he'll work his dribble over to the left wing. He'll find Lampley, another three, yes! Oh, Lampley is lining it up tonight as he nails another three-pointer, this time from the left corner. Demarcus Lampley, five for six from downtown, and Lampley has 19. It's a four-point Cats advantage, 44 to 40, with 111 remaining here in the first half. The Colonels have it back on the left side into the hands of Andre Jones. Remember, the Colonels came out hot as they made a lot of threes, and they led by 15 at one point. Over to Buford. Buford finds Johnson from the corner. He traveled, no call. The ball goes up, and now a jump ball, and Sam Houston will get it. Well, there was a travel down there, no call on the travel, but they get the benefit of the jump ball, and the Bearcats will have possession here. The Cats on an 8-0 run over the last minute, 39. And if you go back just a few more seconds after that on an 11-2 run, they have made three of their last four three-pointers and three of their last four shots on that. As Nichols has not scored in over two minutes now, they're only one of their last six shots. Powers has it on the left wing, feeding down low, turn around, travel. Man, Tristan Ikpe, that is a big young man down there. And Ikpe turned around, but he took a step before he put it up. 40 to 44, Colonels trailing with 33 seconds remaining here in the first half. Gordon over to the left wing to Jalen Forns. He'll drive in, flips it up, no good. Shot bouncing around, rebound goes to Garvin, and Garvin the put back and one. Hooten's not happy. 
Yep. Garvin down there and hauled in that offensive rebound after it bounced around several times and then put it up and won. As Jaron Cook will check into the game. And heading out is Javion May. Javion May walks all the way around Coach Hooten. Najee Garvin, an and one opportunity, bends his knees, right-handed free throw shot won't fall. High rebound goes to Nuttall off the right side of the rim. So Nuttall slow things here as the Bearcats will hold for the last shot. 16 seconds on the clock here in the first half. Nuttall looking over at Coach Hooten, trying to get some direction. Nine seconds, Nuttall, top of the three, crossing over. Nuttall trying to penetrate inside, flips this one over, slam it down by Tristan Ikpe, the feed from Zach Nuttall, and that will do it for the first half of play. The Bearcats in the driver's seat now, leading by four, 46 to 42. We'll step aside and take a break. Halftime coming up on the Bearcats Sports Network. The holiday season is here, and that means Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event is too. Come check out these great deals at Wiesner of Huntsville, like a Chevy Traverse for only $25,345 or a Chevy Half Ton Crew Cab for only $28,986. Want something a little smaller? Get a 2020 Chevy Equinox for $20,986 or a Chevy Trax for $16,986. These deals won't last long, so hurry down for Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. Now through January the 9th, join Anytime Fitness Huntsville. Huntsville for only $1. Located on Sam Houston Avenue, Anytime Fitness Huntsville is offering a special promotion now through January the 9th. Join for only $1 and enjoy access to America's number one fitness provider. Membership includes unlimited tanning, personal training, and 24-hour nationwide access. Anytime Fitness Huntsville is devoted to providing the cleanest gym in town. Let's make healthy happen for only $1 at Anytime Fitness Huntsville. Courage, integrity, perseverance, commitment. Not just a job, this is a career with a purpose. TDCJ is hiring correctional officers now. No experience required, paid training, a signing bonus of up to $5,000. Apply right now at tdcj.texas.gov or call 877-967-5489. Serve Texas with purpose. The holiday season is here, and that means Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event is too. Come check out these great deals at Wiesner of Huntsville, like a Buick Envision for only $26,986 or a GMC Half-Ton Crew Cab for only $36,986. Want something a little smaller? Get a 2020 GMC Acadia for only $25,986 or a Buick Encore GX for only $21,986. These deals won't last long, so hurry down for Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network welcome you to the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. Now let's go back courtside with Rob Hip. 13 minutes to go here at halftime. The Bearcats on a roll here late in that first half, finally finding some daylight from three-point land. It was Lampley turning on the switches, lighting it up from three-point land. And the Cats have a four-point advantage, 46-42. to 42. Again, here at halftime in Thibodeau, Louisiana. We'll look at some other scores from around the Southland as we already have some going final here this evening as, well, no, I thought we had some final. We do. We have Abilene Christian as Lamar was at Abilene Christian earlier today and Abilene Christian on their home court, 83-65 to victory. Other games coming up later tonight. Northwestern State is on the road at Houston Baptist. That's scheduled for a 7 p.m. tip-off. A couple of other games also in action across the Southland. A 4 o'clock tip-off, Central Arkansas at McNeese. And Central Arkansas looks like they're going to hold on here and on the road defeat McNeese 79-65. to There's still 31 seconds in that one, uh, but they may hold on here and, and win that one. As far as New Orleans at Stephen F. Austin, Stephen F. Austin, the Jacks all over that one right now with 18 minutes remaining in the second half. It's 38 to 22. Again, right back here in Thibodeau, Nichols trailing Sam Houston 46 to 42. We'll step aside and take another break. When we come back, we'll look at halftime stats and more. Stay with us, friends. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. This is a call I make two times a year without fail. I'm talking about all temp heating and air conditioning. We're heading into that time of year where you don't want to have your heating unit quitting on you. 
So call Altamp Heating and Air Conditioning for a service checkup. For fast, professional services that won't bust your budget, it's got to be Altamp Heating and Air Conditioning. They've been serving Huntsville and Walker County for decades. When you call, they'll send one of their technicians to get your system up and running again. That's all temp heating and air conditioning. This is Nolan Ryan. So what's it going to be? Hot dog or a hamburger? Hill country or the Gulf Coast? Making less and making choices. That's life. Choose wisely. Choose American Standard Air. Dependable home comfort today and for years to come. You have more important things to worry about than home comfort. Making life simple. That's American Standard Air. Comfort the way you like it. AmericanStandardAir.com That's all temp heating and air conditioning. Call them at 936-291-7836. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas from Adam's Furniture. That's right, folks. It's Christmas time. We're having a huge Christmas sale. How about Lazy Boy? $3.99 for a recliner, $4.99, $5.99. Big man's chairs, little ladies' chairs, they're all in stock, ready for immediate delivery. Listen, come in right now. We have a big mattress sale going on with the largest mattress dealer in Huntsville. How about Tempur-Pedic? How about Sealy? 60 months, interest-free financing. Listen, we also have a bed. You buy the queen-size mattress, we'll give you an adjustable base for free. Hey, that's a Christmas deal from Rudolph. Come on in, folks. It's happening right now at Adams Furniture. How about sofas for $3.99? Hey, we've got room packs for $8.99. This is a huge Christmas sale going on right now at Adams Furniture. This stuff is in stock at my store. It is ready. All the store has inventory in it. Come in to see us for our Christmas sale. It's going on right now. Remember, that's Adams Furniture at 75 North and 10th Street or shop online at shopatadams.com. 46-42, Sam Houston men's basketball leading the Nichols Colonels by four with about nine minutes to go here at halftime. I wanted to talk a little bit about Nichols for a moment. You know, we talk a lot about Sam Houston and, and what's going on there, but when we're on the road, it's always nice to highlight some of the things that are going on at opposing schools and talk about the head coach, Austin Klonch, for this Nichols program. A, there was a slew of new head coaching hires the past offseason, 28 of them. By the last count, the Division I level, Nichols head coach Austin Clonch, he managed to hold on to his title as the youngest signal caller, only at 31 years old. If you're out here at the game and watching him, you, you may think he's one of the players out here if he, if he would suit up. Only 31 years old across two seasons at the helm. Clonch has composed a competitive 35-27 and 27 overall record with a 22-16 and 16 mark in the Southland play, guiding this red and gray team to a second-place finish in the league regular season standings during last season's campaign. He's a Houston native. Also tallied a number of notable career bullet points, including an early season road upset of Pitt last year, victories against both Western Michigan and Idaho the season prior, and close calls at Rhode Island and at the time, number 23, LSU. This is a uh, coach here, you know, Houston area, but taking care of business. But we've got a good one, of course, at Sam Houston and head coach Jason Hooten, who is continuing to put a lot of – you see these young men, and, and last year so many players – went on and we don't have him this year but now Zach Nuttall really leading the helm and this young man will only continue to get better but this is a very new a very young Bearcat team and we're seeing glimpses of what could become a very great season for this Bearcat team they were picked to finish third in the south in this season and if they can continue what they did in the first half uh, they're on their way to a good start here in this 2020 uh, 21 sorry 2021 2021 campaign let's go over first half stats real quick for the ball game here, 19 total rebounds for Sam Houston, 17 for Nichols. Only five of those on the offensive side. That's an area that Sam Houston has been working on. They've hauled in 14 rebounds, seven assists, seven turnovers. They did not block anything in that first half. Five steals, nine points off of nine turnovers from Nichols, 18 points in the paint, and committing eight fouls. Again, that got us to where they're at here. Nichols, though, 17 rebounds, two on the offensive side, 15 on the defensive side, nine assists. They turned it over nine times. Sam Houston only turned it over seven, so that's a good start. Part of the keys to victory was coach said you got to take care of the ball and limit the turnovers. Right out of the gate, though, there were several turnovers 
Uh, but Sam Houston able to really corral things and try to keep things rocking and rolling here as we continue through this first half of play. Leading all scores, Demarcus Lampley, 15 points from three-point land alone, five of six from downtown. He was seven of ten from the field in 20 minutes of play. So Demarcus Lampley has been a spark here for this team, and it's good to see him out there showing what he can do this season. Of course, last year a junior, now as a senior, and really starting to move into that leadership role more as he should. And just one of the few returners here. You talk about a lot of kids that didn't return because they graduated last year, but it's good to have guys like Lampley back and, of course, Zach Nuttall uh, as well. So, again, 19 points for him. He's the only player in double digits for Sam Houston. Zach Nuttall, the leading scorer on the team, by the way, and Nuttall normally picks up around 20 a game. He only has two here in this one. One of five from the field, 0 of two from downtown. He's pulled in three rebounds and one assist in 17 minutes of play, but he has turned it over three times. Tristan Ikpe with six points. Powers has four points. Again, Lampley with 19. Bryce Monroe with six. Manny Krupp with four. And Cook, Jaron Cook in this ballgame has five points. He was one of three from the three-point land. Only one player in double digits for the Colonels as we talk about Ty Gordon, who has 11 points. Five, four of five from the field, three of four of those from downtown. He was hot coming out from three-point land. Johnson has nine points on three of seven from the three-point line. Buford, two of four from three-point land with six points. And then Jones. A three of six from the field, 0 of one from downtown. He has seven points. Again, your score here at halftime, 42 to 46, the Bearcats by four. We'll step aside for two minutes. When we come back, we'll have the second half tip-off. Stay with us, friends. Bearcats basketball continues in a moment on the Bearcats Sports Network. The holiday season is here, and that means Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event is too. Come check out these great deals at Wiesner of Huntsville, like a Chevy Traverse for only $25,345 or a Chevy Half Ton Crew Cab for only $28,986. Want something a little smaller? Get a 2020 Chevy Equinox for $20,986 or a Chevy Trax for $16,986. These deals won't last long, so hurry down for Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. This is a call I make two times a year without fail. I'm talking about all temp heating and air conditioning. We're heading into that time of year where you don't want to have your heating unit quitting on you. So call all temp heating and air conditioning for a service checkup. For fast professional services that won't bust your budget, it's got to be all temp heating and air conditioning. They've been serving Huntsville and Walker County for decades. When you call, they'll send one of their technicians to get your system up and running again. That's all temp heating and air conditioning. This is Nolan Ryan. So what's it going to be? Hot dog or a hamburger? Hill Country or the Gulf Coast? Making less and making choices, that's life. Choose wisely. Choose American Standard Air, dependable home comfort today and for years to come. You have more important things to worry about than home comfort. Making life simple, that's American Standard Air. Comfort the way you like it. AmericanStandardAir.com That's all temp heating and air conditioning. Call them at 936-291-7836. This has been the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. We'll be right back with the second half of tonight's game on the Bearcat Sports Network and 101.7 KSAM. Prescription products require an online physician consultation and are only available if the physician determines a prescription is appropriate. 90-day money-back guarantee available for finasteride only. A subscription required. See website for full details and important safety information. Maybe you've noticed thinning hair. Maybe you're wondering if you'll inherit your dad's bald spot. It doesn't have to be destiny. With Hims, you can get doctor-trusted treatment to tackle your hair loss sent right to your door. Just answer some questions online and get connected with a licensed medical provider to figure out what's right for you. And when you go to 4 slash growth, you can get that first expert consultation for free. Hims has everything from Lux Thickening Shampoo to FDA-approved, clinically proven prescription pills to help stop loss and even regrow hair. If prescribed, it's shipped right to you. No waiting weeks for an appointment, no pharmacies, no trying to figure out what actually works alone. Get years of confidence for less than a dollar per day. Get your free visit at 4 slash growth. If you're not happy with the results in 90 days, Hims can give you a full refund. Go to 4 slash growth for your free visit. 4 slash G-R-O-W-T-A. Welcome back, friends, live from Thibodeau, Louisiana, here at the David R. Stoper Gymnasium. I'm Rob Pitt. Sam Houston men's basketball continues here on the Bearcat Sports Network, 46-42. to And Sam Houston found a way after trailing by 15 early in this game of that first half. Going on a run, limiting the turnovers that plagued them early and finding a way to stop those threes. I think really for Nichols, things just cooled off for him from downtown. 
The Bearcats able to find themselves in a four-point advantage right now. Coach talked about in keys to victory, taking care of the balls and limiting the turnovers and rebounding. So one area that they have did, they've taken care of the ball, and they're looking to continue that here. Again, 1.30 to go. We're going to keep it right here as we head back into tip-off in just a few moments. I want to remind you out there, everyone listening, with our all-new social media feeds this year, our broadcasts are reaching more of an audience than ever through our Facebook social media pages, YouTube, and much more. We carry the audio with a video component, so if you're listening on the radio and you have a Facebook, you can always go to the KSAM KHVL Facebook pages, and you'll be able to see a broadcast booth shot along with more information about the game, including a live scoreboard and much more. You can do that. Make sure to like the Facebook page at KSAM 1017 and also KHVL 1049. You can find both of those on Facebook and also search for KSAM on YouTube. You'll find our links there and much more and keep up to date with the latest. With that, reaching more people now than ever, not only through FM, but also through social media and our digital assets, we've got numerous sponsorship opportunities available if you're interesting, interested in helping to make these broadcasts possible and supporting our broadcast through Bearcat Athletics, you can do so. Feel free to send me an email. It's rob at ksam1017.com, R-O-B at ksam, that's K-S-A-M, 1017.com. We have affordable packages that we have designed for businesses in the community. Also, one final promo. We wanted to talk about the Jason Hooten Radio Show. That coming 6.30 p.m. It's all new and it's the first ever Jason Hooten Radio Show. You can listen to us live in person and it will also be on the radio as well as video through social media. 6.30 p.m. live from True Texas Barbecues. We'll talk to head coach Jason Hooten and Bearcat players and much more. And friends, come out and support the Bearcats. When they're playing at home at Johnson Coliseum, tickets are extremely affordable. Come out. And I know that COVID is going on, but we still have uh, an opportunity to pack the Johnson Coliseum with certain restrictions, of course, due to COVID. But come out and support these young men and this great basketball team. Not only the men's, but the women's as well. And we appreciate Coach Raven Justice as well as Coach Hooten and all that they do for Bearcat Athletics. Back in action here, second half underway as Nichols will inbound to start this. They'll now move from left to right. For those of you just joining us, Nichols in their white jerseys, white shorts, trimmed in red, numbers in red. And the word Nichols written across the front with the numbers outlined in back. They'll move it here from left to right as they take over, trailing 46 to 42. Trying to penetrate inside is Garvin. He'll flip it up. Najee Garvin right out of the gates, able to knock one down and brings us back to within a two-point game. 46-44. The score as the Cats bring it into the front court. Over to Demarcus Lampley, who is hot from the three-point line to start things in that first half. JV on May over to Robertson on the left wing. Actually, it was Powers, I beg your pardon. Back over into the hands here of uh, JV on May. JV on May will find Nuttall on the right wing. He'll take a three, this time off the front of the rim, fighting for the rebound, and it goes out of bounds. Trying to trace it down with Tristan Ikpe, but just too fast that ball out there. Ikpe couldn't catch up to it in time. So an opportunity here for the Colonels to tie this up. 46-44, currently trailing by two with 50 seconds gone here in the second half. Bringing it to the front court is Andre Jones from left to right. Jones guarding by May. He'll find Johnson on that right corner. Johnson working the high screen around Garvin. Now the drop off over to Lyons. Lyons back into the hands of Garvin. Garvin will go right wing. Buford three. The shot won't fall. High rebound skyrocketing up as JV on May. And the Cats want to run. It's Powers. Top of the three-point line around the back. Powers inside the paint. Tries to drop this one off, and it's knocked away and turned over. Goes into the hand of Buford. Buford one-on-one. -on -one, right side. Lay it up. Good and one. And man, Buford hit the deck hard. You may have been able to hear it. Luckily, he hopped right up. Uh, but an and-one opportunity here for uh, Buford. And he'll go to the line here and try to get the lead back for the Colonels. If 46 tied up, he's got an opportunity to break that tie. So it's a Nichols team that led by as many as 15 in that first half, mainly off of a lot of three-point shooting to start things early. The Bearcats were able to finally contain that. And here we go for the free throw. It's up on its way, no good, and the rebound goes to May. So we keep it tied here at 46 with 18.32 to go in the second half. Zach Nuttall will bring it across center court, working a left-handed dribble high screen by Ikpe. Nuttall. Gets this one knocked away, and it's turned over. Najee Garvin has it. Garvin working inside. 
And trying to find something, passing back over to Johnson on the right wing. This one tipped around, and now it's picked up by May. May, one, going, slam this one down. No, he laid it up. I thought he was going to slam it down, and he just lays it up. So JV on May goes coast to coast, forces a turnover, lays it up the other way. It's a two-point Bearcat advantage, 48-46, 17-58 to go in the second half. Andre Jones bringing it across center court. Chest pass over to Garvin. Now the handoff to Johnson. Johnson goes way up high. The Lions there. Rajay Lyons able to hold it in. Now to the right wing. Jones. And a quick bumping foul called here on JV on May. He kind of looks at the official, says, wait a minute, man. But yeah, that's a foul. And so a foul called here on JV on May. That is his. I'm trying to look here and see as we're keeping up with it. JV on May picking up his third personal. And so JV on May will head over to the bench. And checking back in is Jaron Cook. So it is Cook, Lampley, Ikpe out there for the Bearcats alongside a Nuttall and Powers. Nichols has it on the right baseline working as Johnson. Now steps back, jumper good in the face of Dante Powers. We're tied back at 48 apiece. 17-27 to go here in the second half. Powers has it, handoff and... Offensive foul called here on Dante Powers. Now it's one of those minty fouls, a little tic-tac foul. 48-48. We're tied up with 17-22 to go here in Thibodeau. Andre Jones picks up his dribble just in front of the three-point line. And Rajay Lyons slams it down. Rajay Lyons there, an easy one off of the... Assist, now back the other way. Nuttall takes the jumper, won't fall. The put back off the left side, rolls around. It won't fall for Ikpe as he's knocked around. No foul, Ikpe still has it. Left side, still won't fall for Ikpe. And now it goes into the hands of Rajay Lyons. So back-to-back -back misses here for the Cats. And the Colonels take a two-point advantage, 50-48. to 48. Off the left side, shot no good. A foul and two free throws coming up here for the Colonels. Boy, they're coming out of the gates with a lot of aggression here. Jeremiah Buford at the line will shoot two as he hit the deck hard. A foul called on Jaron Cook. That is his first personal. And the third team foul already here for the Cats. No team fouls for Nichols yet as we are three and a half gone. First free throw falls in and good for Jeremiah Buford. Uh, Buford makes the first free throw. He was 0 for 1 until that point. Now 1 for 2 on the night. Buford will take a couple of dribbles here. Bends his knees. Right-handed free throw shot. This one rolls in and good. 52-48. Colonels extending their lead by four now. As Bryce Monroe checked back into the game. He'll hand off to Powers on the left wing. Powers going in from the free throw line off the right side. Shot no good. Powers a hard foul there on Rajay Lyons. And Powers should go to the line here shooting two. No, 52 to 48, Colonels leading, but at the line shooting two, Dante Powers. Dante Powers, 15 of 20 entering tonight's game, a 75% free throw shooter. And here in this one, puts up the first free throw off the front of the rim, no good. And you can kind of call it a rare miss there for Powers as he normally makes those. You know, Restep his composure here, Powers a six foot two junior guard. Bends his knees, this free throw on the way. This one does rattle in and good. 52-49. Colonels back with it on the right side. Buford goes up top to Lines. Lines over to the left wing. Hand off to Johnson, trying to give him a high screen. Now to Jones. Slings this one back over to Buford. Buford inside the lane, loses the handle. That goes out of bounds off of the Cats. May have went off of Manny Crump. Lampley and Crump were down there. It went out of bounds off of one of them. And 16-19 remaining here in the second half. Colonels with 15 seconds on the shot clock, inbounding on the right side. Leading by three, 52-49. Inbounding on the baseline on their own side on the right. It's Buford. Buford high pass out over to Lyons. Lyons trying to work it inside. Boy, he used an elbow there, arm, and they're going to call him for a travel. Now, Rajay Lyons. 
Nope, they charged him with a foul. It was not a travel, I beg your pardon. I thought at first it was a travel. And I was about to say, the Lions went in very strong. Kind of manhandled a couple of players there. And picking up the offensive foul. 52, 49, 16, 15 to go here in the second half. Bearcats trailing by three. Bringing it to the front court is Bryce Monroe. Monroe sees daylight. Left side, yes, good for Bryce Monroe. My goodness, as there was a lane there, Monroe took it and set those Rockets on fire all the way to the left side. It's a one-point Nichols advantage, 52 to 51. The Colonels have it, and now a bumping foul called here on Dante Powers. And that will take us to a timeout. We'll step aside for one minute. The Colonels have the ball and the one-point lead, 52-51 to 51 with 15.50 to go here in the second half. We'll be back in one minute on the Bearcats Sports Network. The holiday season is here, and that means Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event is too. Like getting a $3,000 rebate and 0% interest for 72 months on a 2020 Cadillac CT4 or CT5. Thinking of an SUV? What about a $2,500 rebate and 0% interest for 72 months on a Cadillac XT4 or XT5? We also have the all-new redesigned Escalade arriving daily. But these deals won't last long, so hurry down for the Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event or shop us online at WiesnerCadillac.com. Get on out to the Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar for Taco Tuesday with fish or shrimp fried or grilled. Thursday night is steak night. Charcoal grilled, hand cut, choice Angus ribeye. All you can eat catfish and fries every day for $10.99. The Big Easy sells fresh homemade boudin. Packaged and ready for pickup. Great for grilling out at home, the deer lease, tailgating and camp out. Dine in or to go orders at the Big Easy. Full menu and bar at the Big Easy. Big screen TVs and family friendly atmosphere too. And live music every Saturday night. The Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar on Sam Houston Avenue. Open at 11 Tuesday through Sunday. Closed Monday. 52-51, Nichols by one here with 15.50 to go in the second half. Thanks for joining us on the Bearcats Sports Network. I'm Rob Hip. another exciting season of Bearcats men's basketball on the way. And, boy, so thankful, friends. We go back over 2020 and everything that had happened as these Cats did not get to play as many college teams, of course, their seasons, every college team, their season's cutting short in post-game as the tournaments were all canceled. I was actually on my way down to Houston and got turned around halfway through and said, hey, the Southland tournament's not going to happen. So what a blessing to be back here playing basketball. And, you know, for these, especially these seniors, they wanted to get out of here and play, and they're getting to do that here this season. And I just wish uh, everyone would stay well and that we would all continue to get through this together in a very blessed and prosperous 2021 to all of you out there. So here we are back in action as the Colonels will inbound the basketball in front of the scorer's table on the right side. Pass goes out to Kevin Johnson near the half court line as Bryce Monroe guarding him. And now over to the left wing, wide open three. The shot good at the bottom of the net. Do not get Kevin Johnson started again as he nails the three. And it's a four point advantage, 55 to 51 for Nichols. Monroe bringing it again, Monroe to the right side. This time he goes up hard and falls down hard. The ball goes out of bounds off of Nichols. I believe it may have been off of Kevin Johnson. So with 21 seconds on the shot clock, the Cats will hold on to the possession here. So inbound under their own rim on the left side. Monroe has it, looking, passing over. It is Powers from the left corner. Had the three, but didn't take it. Now back over to Nuttall on the left wing. Nuttall will penetrate, throws it up inside, bouncing. Yes, good for Zach Nuttall. Now Zach Nuttall, another one that can streak inside just like Bryce Monroe, and he's able to lay that one up and in. It's a two-point kernel advantage now, 55, 53, 15 minutes to go here in the second. The second half. A lot of stops so far, taking a little bit longer than the first, it seems. Baseline, lay it up, good off the left side. Andre Jones made that one look easy. But Jones had an easy lane there. Back to a four-point kernel advantage. Monroe for the Cats, has it on the left side. Hands this one off over to Powers. Powers shaking and baking his way against Andre Jones. Now a left-handed pass goes to Lampley. Lampley for three! Yes! Oh, Mama Lampley continuing it tonight. Another three-pointer for Demarcus Lampley. 
It's a one point Colonel advantage, 57 to 56 with 14, 26 to go here in the second half. Now on the right side, shot up, no good for Sears. And a foul called here against Sears as he got his own rebound, tried to put it back up. And a foul called on Manny Crump. So Manny Crump picking up his third personal. That is the 16 foul for the Cats here with just under six minutes gone. 14-19 remaining in the second half. And Damian Sears entering tonight's contest. Uh, four for four. Makes the first free throw here. Now Sears has played in all six games. Has not got to the free throw line a lot, though, but nails the first one. Well, Sears looking to remain perfect from the free throw line. He'll bend his knees, right-handed free throw shot. This one no good. High rebound goes to Zach Nuttall as it bounced around on the right side. 58-56. Cats with an opportunity to tie on a two or take the lead with a three. It's up to Zach Nuttall, top of the three, as he'll wiggle his way over to Monroe. Monroe penetrating from inside. The semicircle turns it over. He threw it into the hands of Ty Gordon. Ty Gordon moving from left to right. Quick pass up to Jones. Now to the left wing, it's Johnson. Johnson will take a three. He's wide open, missed the shot. Nuttall with a right-handed rebound off the right side of the rim. Nuttall moving across center court. Working his dribble, now switches to the left hand, puts it up, blocking foul. And we'll see if it's on the court. Uh, they say it's before the shot. Nope, it's, it was in the act of shooting. So Zach Nuttall at the line shooting two. So Nuttall an opportunity. No, they didn't. I'm sorry. They inbounded. That's what I thought. They inbounded. Quick give and go inside. Good for Zach Nuttall off the left side of the glass. Well, Nuttall lined up like he was going to shoot free throws there, and I beg your pardon. I thought that they'd waved it off. Regardless, it's 58 apiece. We're tied up. Over the left wing to Damian Sears. Hands off over to Ty Gordon, top of the three. Zings this one over to the right wing. Jones inside, the floater won't fall. Oh man, he comes over Zach Nuttall on the right shoulder. Nuttall goes down hard, but he hops up right away. Nuttall doesn't take anything personal. He takes care of it on the court. He claps his hand. A pushing foul called. And a foul here, that is the fourth team foul against Nichols. And the Bearcats will have it back here. It's not in the act of shooting. Andre Jones picks up his third personal. Rajay Lyons really the only one in foul trouble here for either side of the court as he's got four fouls in this ball game. Only two points and nine minutes of play for him. Not all will inbound the basketball on the right side. He's got to move all the way across court on that right baseline. Quick handoff goes over to Bryce Monroe. Monroe brings it into the front court on the far side from right to left. Crosses over his dribble from the right hand back to the left. Pass down inside over to Ikpe, and Ikpe had a good handle, and it gets tipped out of bounds by Sears. Ikpe had some separation there, but couldn't hold on to it quick enough, and that was because of the defense brought on by Damian Sears as he knocked it out of bounds. Narjay Garvin will head back over to the bench, and checking in Jeremiah Buford. Cats with 17 seconds on the shot clock, inbounding. Quick pass over to Nuttall on the baseline. Nuttall trying to create separation with his left arm. Shakes his way inside, launches this one over to Monroe. Monroe finds Lampley. Can he do it again? Yes, he can. Demarcus Lampley from three again tonight. 61-58. It's a two-point or three-point advantage by the Cats. And a miss here for three by the Colonels. And the Bearcats have it back again, trying to build upon their lead. 61 to 58, 12 46 to go here in the second half. Monroe on the left wing. And they say Monroe carried it. Wow. Boy, Monroe knows. That's a. I call those a, the, you know, I call those kind of fouls the breath mint foul. It's a tic tac. Freshen up your breath with those kind of calls. 61 to 58. Three-point advantage for the Cats. Colonels have it back. 12.33 to go in the game. Darts this one over to Gordon. Gordon over to the right side. They move it around the world to Johnson for three. Well short. The air conditioner turned on, but the putback is good by Sears off the right side. One-point advantage for the Bearcats. This one close just like the women's game earlier this afternoon. Sam Houston women's falling in that ball game to open Southland play. 61 to 60 here, 12-10 to go in the game. Nuttall has it on the left side from the left wing. 
Quick pass over to Monroe. Monroe with a couple of right-handed dribbles. He'll take a three as he steps back. This shot no good off the back of the iron. Lampley went up high for the rebound. Couldn't swat it away, and Johnson hauls it in. Johnson working a dribble on that left wing. Goes into the baseline. Turn around here by Forns. Almost turns it over. Gets it way up top. Back over to Gordon. Gordon guarded by Nuttall. Bounce pass inside over to Sears. Sears working inside the semicircle. Turn around. Floater good. And the Colonels retake the lead. Now take their lead for the fourth time. This ball game has been tied three times. 62 to 61. We've got a good one down the wire here. 11.36 to go from Thibodeau, Louisiana. Stay with us, friends. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. The holiday season is here, and that means Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event is too. Come check out these great deals at Wiesner of Huntsville, like a Chevy Traverse for only $25,345 or a Chevy Half Ton Crew Cab for only $28,986. Want something a little smaller? Get a 2020 Chevy Equinox for $20,986 or a Chevy Trax for $16,986. These deals won't last long, so hurry down for Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. Be- Finally, a reason to celebrate. The holidays and cool weather are here. Don't let Jack Frost nip at your nose. Stay cozy with Bilco Air Heating and Cooling. As a local, family-owned business, we take your comfort to heart. That's why right now we're offering furnace check specials during December and through January. Call 936-646-6691 or visit BilcoAir.com to learn more. Happy holidays, and remember, it's hard to stop a train. E-I-L-C-O and Bilco is the way up. 62-61, your score here, Thibodeau, Louisiana, as the Colonels leading the Bearcats back and forth. We continue to go. Again, thanks for joining us here tonight on the Bearcats Sports Network as we had a long drive in. Actually, myself this morning had to get up about 3 a.m., got on the road at 4 a.m., and rolled in here to Thibodeau at around 12.30 and calling back-to-back games here. Been a fun one in both games. As we stated earlier, the women's falling in their game versus Nichols. It was a close one, and this one close as well as we continue to go back and forth. There's been four lead changes and three ties in this one so far. The largest lead for Nichols was 15 points back at the 12-16 mark as we were just eight minutes into the game. They led 26 to 11. Looked like they were going to run away with that one as they were wild from downtown, but things have since cooled off. Now 10 of 23 from three-point land. The Bearcats, their largest lead was only four when it was 46 to 42 to get things started in that second half just a moment to go, about nine minutes or so. As we come out of the timeout here, the Cats will inbound the ball. Dante Powers on the nickel side of the court on the right side as there are three players back there for the Cats. The inbound goes to Demarcus Lampley, back over to Dante Powers. They've got to get into the front court. Jaron Cook finally gets it over to Demarcus Lampley. He has double team. Lampley trying to work out of it. Throws this one up high over to Bryce Monroe. Three-point Cook. Yes, turn the stove on again. Jaron Cook from downtown. 64-62 Bearcats. Back on the right side, it's the Colonels. Damian Sears inside the paint. He's been a force, and he scores yet again. I want to say that Sears has made three of his last three shots down there in the paint. We're tied back up at 64. Here's Monroe, right side. That one partially blocked. The rebound, Ikpe fighting for it. A jump ball situation and the possession arrow. We'll see who that goes to. Just waiting here to get clarification. I'm not sure who has possession. I believe that Sam Houston has it. As the layup was missed by Monroe, it was partially blocked. 64 apiece, your score. 10-52 remaining here in Thibodeau. We'll step aside for one minute on the Bearcat Sports Network. Now through January the 9th, join Anytime Fitness Huntsville for only $1. Located on Sam Houston Avenue, Anytime Fitness Huntsville is offering a special promotion. Now through January the 9th, join for only $1 and enjoy access to America's number one fitness provider. Membership includes unlimited tanning, personal training, and 24-hour nationwide access. Anytime Fitness Huntsville is devoted to providing the cleanest gym in town. Let's make healthy happen for only $1 at Anytime Fitness Huntsville. Courage, integrity, perseverance, 
commitment. Not just a job, this is a career with a purpose. TDCJ is hiring correctional officers now. No experience required, paid training, a signing bonus of up to $5,000. Apply right now at tdcj.texas.gov or call 877-967-5489. Serve Texas with purpose. Oh, it's been a good one here in Thibodeau, Louisiana, as we are all knotted up 64 apiece to open Southland Conference play. A pleasant good evening and welcome back to the Bearcat Sports Network. 10.52 to go in this one. I'm Rob Hip. Thanks for spending your Saturday afternoon with us here on 101.7 KSAM and also on our social media streams. By the way, if you're out there listening tonight, we'd love to hear from you. Send us a text message. Let us know where you're at and who you're cheering on. 512-522-9105. Again, that number is 512-522-9105. As we come out of the media timeout, Bearcats will have the ball here. It's their possession on that jump ball. They had the possession arrow. I couldn't see the light from my angle and finally saw it down there. Hey, wanted to give a shout out too to Carlos Zimmerman back at KSAM Studios running the board for us. So many moving parts going to making these broadcasts happen. So thank you to Carlos and also to my beautiful fiance, Bridget, who is helping to engineer this one here with me tonight in Louisiana. So we come out of that timeout, 20 seconds on the shot clock, 10.52 to go here in the second half. We're tied up at 64 apiece. Monroe will inbound under his own rim on the right side, standing on the baseline. Say so looks, got to find somebody. And five second. Five second violation, that'll turn it over. He had to get rid of it quick. Coach Hooten not happy as he looks over there at his freshman saying, young man, you got to get rid of that ball. And that will give it right back to the Colonels. Those are the plays that you can't afford to make down the stretch, especially when it's knotted up this close. 10.48 to go, 64 apiece. The Colonels have it. Ty Gordon moving it and working his way into the front court. Take a high screen on the right side, Sears. And now we'll find Forns. Forns, floater from inside. Boy, that one may have been partially blocked. Damian Sears has it. Put back here by Buford, no good. Another put back on this one by Buford, no good again. And the ball still bouncing around and finally goes to the Bearcats. So no shot down there, three or four opportunities. And now Powers wants to drive in. He'll kick it back. Lampley again for three. Oh, man, this one won't fall. Lampley's been feeling hot from three-point land, and this time it wouldn't fall. Score remains 64. Now a bumping foul against Demarcus Lampley. That's one of those mint fouls again where you get bumped. The seventh Bearcat team foul. So now in the bonus, the Colonels, they'll shoot the rest of the way on the front end of one and one. That foul on Demarcus Lampley is Lampley's first personal. Ty Gordon at the line. First free throw good. He'll have another one. That breaks the tie again. 65-64 Colonels. Ikpe, Powers, Lampley, Monroe, and Cook out there for the Cats. Second free throw, good as well. Buford, Johnson, Gordon, Forns, and Sears for Nichols. Nichols back with a two-point advantage, 66 to 64. 10 minutes to go here in Thibodeau. Monroe, top of the three-point line, high screen, bounce, give and go over to Ikpe, and now it is Cook for three. Yes, there it is, Jaron Cook. The stove is lit. The propane is running out tonight as they have burned a lot of gas from three-point land. 67-66, Bearcats by one. High pass. It's knocked around, turned over. Powers swats it down. Great defense there by Dante Powers. Now it's on the court, and it's turned back over to Nichols. And the Colonel's wanting to run. Buford. Zings this one over to Gordon. He'll shoot three. The shot no good. And somehow the putback on the rebound attempt by Jalen Forns is there. Forns didn't attempt to knock that one in. He was just trying to go up for a rebound and knocked it in. Colonels back by one. Back and forth we go. A bumping tic-tac foul here by Jer Jeremiah Buford. Well, if you're a Bearcat fan, though, you'll take it. That is the... Fifth team foul, so the Bearcats not in the bonus yet. That foul, by the way, on Buford, his first personal. So Bryce Monroe will head over to the bench. He'll get a pat from head coach Jason Hooten, checking back in, Javion May. May to inbound, looking for a teammate, finds Lampley. 
Lampley, left-handed dribble. Calling for the high screen to Powers. Powers, I think, misread it. Instead, it goes now to Ikpe. Ikpe, left side, aggressive move. Yes! Off the left side of the glass, Tristan Ikpe finding it. Bearcats by one. Now a three by Nichols. This one rattles in and out. It's no good for Buford. Had a good look. In the backcourt, Powers into the front court from right to left. He'll work a crossover dribble. Bounces this one over to Javion May on the right wing. May crossing over to the left hand, working around from that right elbow. Sings it over to Ikpe. Ikpe, the jumper rolls in and good for Tristan Ikpe. So back-to-back -back shots by Ikpe and the Cats extend it to three. 71 to 68, 828 remaining here in the second. Colonels bring it into the front court. It's Gordon, Ty Gordon. Working on Javion May, back over to Gordon. Thought about a three, picked it up. Now shuffles this one to the right wing. Shot no good by Fords. High rebound, Javion May. May over to the far right side, moving from right to left to Powers. Dante Powers still has it. Left-handed dribble crossing over between two defenders. That one's swatted from behind. Lampley is there to haul it down. And now it's a three, Cook. This shot won't fall. And the ball knocked out of bounds off of Nichols. It will remain with the Bearcats. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Well, the Bearcats making three of their last four shots. Jaron Cook, three of his last four. Lampley is lighting it up, four of five. And seven of eight from downtown on his last attempt. 7.52 remaining. The Bearcats with a three-point lead and the ball when we come back on the Bearcats Sports Network. The holiday season is here, and that means Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event is too. Come check out these great deals at Wiesner of Huntsville, like a Buick Envision for only $26,986 or a GMC Half-Ton Crew Cab for only $36,986. Want something a little smaller? Get a 2020 GMC Acadia for only $25,986 or a Buick Encore GX for only $21,986. These deals won't last long, so hurry down for Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. Get on out to the Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar for Taco Tuesday with fish or shrimp, fried or grilled. Thursday night is steak night. Charcoal grilled, hand cut, choice Angus ribeye. All you can eat catfish and fries every day for $10.99. The Big Easy sells fresh homemade boudin. Packaged and ready for pickup. Great for grilling out at home, the deer lease, tailgating and camp out. Dine in or to go orders at the Big Easy. Full menu and bar at the Big Easy. Big screen TVs and family friendly atmosphere too. And live music every Saturday night. The Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar on Sam Houston Avenue. Open at 11 Tuesday through Sunday. Closed Mondays. Seventy-one, sixty-eight. Bearcats by three with seven fifty-two to go here in Thibodeau. Listen at the sounds of that Nichols band. Thought you'd enjoy that for a little bit. Always good to have a band at a college basketball game. They do a great job here and inside of this arena here at uh, David R. Stouffer. It's a nice facility to be in. The acoustics. The band actually sits up on a second level. And from our vantage point, to the left side up on that second level, it's kind of a square gymnasium, and man, they sound good. Just let you enjoy a little bit of that sound for a minute. Again, 71-68 the score here, 7.52 remaining in this one. And Sam Houston on a run here. Demarcus Lampley has simply just lit up out of nowhere here in this ball game. Lampley with 25 points, shooting nine of 13 from the field. He is seven of nine from downtown, hauled in six rebounds and one assist in 32 minutes of play. Zach Nuttall with six points here in this ball game. Monroe has eight, and Sharon Cook has 11. He's also three of six from downtown. The Bearcats, 10 of 21 from three-point land. They're getting a lot of extra Christmas presents left over from the holidays. Inbound pass, Cook, jumper, yes, good for Jaron Cook. That's the way you work it up and execute it as Ikpe went immediately to Jaron Cook on the inbound, and the Cats now leading 73 to 68. The Colonel's back on the right side. It's Andre Jones, it's turned over up front to Lampley. Lampley one on one, yes, right side, good to Marcus Lampley. And Lampley now with 27 points and the Bearcats on a run. Nichols has not scored in the last minute and a half. They're one of seven on their last shots. A pass to the right side and one here. Spoke too soon. 
as Najee Garvin received the pass, laid it up, and one off the right side of the glass. Coach Hooten can't believe it. The eighth team foul by the Bearcats. Najee Garvin at the line for an and one opportunity. Manny Crump checks back into the ball game. Ty Gordon and Jalen Fords out. Damian Sears also out. Andre Jones, Reggae Lions, and Najee Garvin in for Nichols. And one on its way. Yes, it's good at the bottom of the net for Garvin. 75-71. Boy, after Nichols went hot, they're only one of 14 from three-point land now. As Zach Nuttall back in the game. He'll take a shot from the elbow. That one dropped dead, didn't fall in off the left side. Shot it from the right side, took an awkward spot and didn't fall. Back over to Nichols on the right side. Najee Garvin has it. A quick handoff here to Gordon. Gordon to the right wing, Johnson. Johnson picks it up, his dribble. Goes to Jones. Jones trying to feed down low to Lyons. Lyons working in the paint. Turnaround jumper from the right side, won't fall. High rebound to Jaron Cook. Four point advantage for the Cats, 75, 71, 6.30 to go here in the second half. Dante powers into the front court. He'll take it himself, left side, no good. Put back, no good either by Nuttall. Powers gets the rebound. He'll find Cook for three. This one on the way, yes, Jaron Cook. Oh, Hooten's on fire. His team is lighting it up from three point land. 78, 71, it's a seven point cat advantage. Kevin Johnson back on the right side. He'll look over to Buford there on that left wing. Finds Garvin. Garvin trying to work. Oh, man, he threw an elbow. It's an offensive foul. An offensive foul as Najee Garvin threw one down there. May have been against Powers. Not sure. May have been against Cook. As he threw it against him. with 5.57 remaining here in the second half of play. The Bearcats on a tear. Lampley just came out of nowhere in this ball game, said, I'm fed up. 27 points already tonight. Bearcats got to keep it, though, as there's still a lot of time in this ball game, and this Nichols Colonels team can score and score quickly. Jaron Cook has it on the left wing. He'll work a right-handed dribble inside the paint, drops this one down to Nuttall on the baseline, and it goes out of his hands. That ball had a lot of finesse on it. It was spinning, and Zach Nuttall was not able to hold on to it. Talk about trying to thread a needle, and Zach Nuttall just not able to hold on to that one. Andre Jones will bring it to the front court. His team trailing by seven. The Colonels over to Johnson. Three, yes. Johnson and the Colonels needed a shot, and he gave them a three. It's a four-point advantage for the Bearcats with 5.18 to go, 78-74. Powers on the right wing as he's pushed around by lines. Powers now inside the paint. He'll swing it back over. Lampley again for three. The shot too short off the front. Crump with the rebound inside the paint. Turnaround jumper too strong off the back of the iron. And now the Colonels want to run. Another three here from the left wing. The shot too strong. High rebound. Crump, he hauls it in with the right hand. And Coach Hooten telling Zach Nuttall to hold the ball and slow things down. Let's run some clock. The Cats leading by four, 78-74, 4.42 remaining here in Thibodeau, Louisiana in the Southland Conference opener. It is Powers over to the right side. This one tipped up into the air. And good defense there by Buford with nine seconds on the shot clock. It goes out of bounds. Nuttall will inbound just in front of his own bench. So Nuttall to inbound. Bounce pass over to Powers. Give and go back to Nuttall. Top of the three-point line. Five seconds on the clock. Nuttall to the right side. He gets it swatted away. And now it's a one-on-one here as Buford going. He'll throw it back over to Jones. Jones turning around to Johnson. Right wing three. This shot no good. Tipped all the way back. And the Bearcats have it. It's Jaron Cook. Putin telling him to slow down. And they will calm things down. Powers will take a breather here with four minutes to go. The Bearcats by four, 78 to 74. As Powers in the back, working now from the three-point line, 15 on the clock. He'll take a jumper. That one good from the elbow. Oh, it's a good shot by Dante Powers. And he's got seven 
And the Bearcats extend it back to a six point advantage, 80 to 74. Colonels from the top of the three, over to the right corner, three point shot, good for Jeremiah Buford. And Jeremiah Buford able to nail a three. And it's only a three point advantage for the Cats, 80 to 77, 339 to go in Thibodeau. Don't go anywhere, folks. Exciting Bearcat basketball as we'll step aside for one minute on the Bearcat Sports Network. The holiday season is here, and that means Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event is too. Like getting a $3,000 rebate and 0% interest for 72 months on a 2020 Cadillac CT4 or CT5. Thinking of an SUV? What about a $2,500 rebate and 0% interest for 72 months on a Cadillac XT4 or XT5? We also have the all-new redesigned Escalade arriving daily. But these deals won't last long, so hurry down for the Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event or shop us online at WiesnerCadillac.com. B-I-L-C-L. Finally, a reason to celebrate. The holidays and cool weather are here. Don't let Jack Frost nip at your nose. Stay cozy with Bilco Air Heating and Cooling. As a local, family-owned business, we take your comfort to heart. That's why right now we're offering furnace check specials during December and through January. Call 936-646-6691 or visit BilcoAir.com to learn more. Happy holidays and remember, it's hard to stop a train. B-I-L-C-O and Bilco is the way up. 80 to 77, 339 to go here in the Southland Conference opener. The Bearcat men trying to hold on against this very tough Nichols Colonels team. The Bearcats last year went 0-2 versus the Colonels. Trying to change things up this season and get started on the right side of the court. The three-pointers have been generous for both teams tonight as Nichols came out in the first half shooting nine of 18 from downtown, but only three of 12 in the second. It's been a flip-flop for the Bearcats. Six of 13 in that first half, five of 10 in the second half. They're 11 of 23, shooting 48% here in the ball game. The Bearcats have also shot 30 of 60. And again, 80 to 77, your score, a three-point Bearcat advantage as they are trying to hold on to it. After going on a nice run moments ago, though, the Bearcats have cooled off, only making one of their last four shots. Andre Jones on the flip side for Nichols has made three of his last four. Garvin has made three of his last four. And then for the Bearcats, Jaron Cook, four of five of his last five, and Dante Powers, three of his last four. The highlight of the night for Sam Houston, that three-point shooting, of course, but Demarcus Lampley, 10 of 15, 7 of 10 from the three-point land. He has 27 points in 36 minutes. Two other Bearcats in double digits, Tristan Ikpe with 10, and Cook, Jaron Cook with 16. Cats will inbound to start after the timeout, leading by three after that three moments ago by Jeremiah Buford. It's 80 to 77, Cats by three. Goes into the hands of Powers on the right wing. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Good idea to run some time. Over to Manny Crump. He'll take a wide open three. Yes, Manny Crump. Oh, man, what a shot by Manny Crump for three. Bearcats on fire from downtown. 83 to 77 back the other way. The Colonels jack up a three. That one won't fall for Kevin Johnson. And the Cats can wisely run some time, but instead we'll have a whistle and a dead ball here as Zach Nuttall holding down. He came down a little hard on that left ankle, and you hate to see that for Zach Nuttall as he will hobble his way back over to the bench. And checking in will be Javion May. And Zach Nuttall has had his injuries on that ankle throughout his career, and you Hope that that's just a little bit of a tweaker and he'll be okay. Got to have that young man on the court and his leadership. 83-77, 2.57 remaining. As Dante Powers has it and Powers is knocked around and he's fouled. It's a foul on Najee Garvin. And with seven team fouls, that will send the Bearcats now to the line on the front end of a one and one. They're in the bonus. They'll shoot the remaining 2.53. That's the fifth personal foul on Rajay Lyons, and he'll slam the desk as he hands back over to the bench. Rajay Lyons checking into the game. 
And at the line here on the front end of a one and one Dante Powers. Dante Powers, one for two from the charity stripe. Tonight, right-handed free throw, good. He'll get another opportunity. Seven-point cat advantage, 84-77, 253 remaining here in the ball game. The second free throw, this one off the front of the rim. Rebound, Lampley. Oh, man, Lampley's all over the place tonight. Back over to Powers, top of the three. High screen crump. Powers looking. Now finds JV on May. And May back to Lampley. Lampley wanting to penetrate inside. Why not? Throws it up. The shot no good. Bounced around. Rebound goes all the way up top. Buford has it. He'll sling his way right side. Good. Wow. Jeremiah Buford laid that one up, and then he slid about a good seven feet away from that rim onto the baseline and slammed into the the advertising signs down there. He slid. It looked like there was ice on the court. 84-79, 217 to go. Bearcats back with it. It's Powers on the left side. Looks inside. Swing pass over to Crump. Crump on the baseline and a travel. Bearcats got to hold on to it here. Critical turnover there by Manny Crump on the travel. And you better believe that Nichols is going to take advantage of these opportunities. They're trailing 84 to 79. Still plenty of time remaining in this game. 2.07 to go. The Colonels have one timeout, though. That is one thing that threatens them. Only one timeout while the Bearcats have three remaining here in this game. Andre Jones to the right side, Lampley guarding him. He'll swing this one down to Rajay Lyons. The jumper no good, and the rebound goes to Powers. Dante Powers hauling it down, Putin telling him to slow it up. Let's run some clock here. Dante Powers dribbles it, and Coach Hooten will call a timeout. 141 remaining, 84-79. Bearcats holding on to the lead. We'll step aside for a moment. Looks like Zach Nuttall's okay. He may hop back in here in a moment. 84-79. We'll step aside for a break for one minute on the Bearcat Sports Network. The holiday season is here, and that means Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event is too. Come check out these great deals at Wiesner of Huntsville, like a Chevy Traverse for only $25,345 or a Chevy Half Ton Crew Cab for only $28,986. Want something a little smaller? Get a 2020 Chevy Equinox for $20,986 or a Chevy Trax for $16,986. These deals won't last long, so hurry down for Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. Now through January the 9th, join Anytime Fitness Huntsville for only one dollar located on sam houston avenue anytime fitness huntsville is offering a special promotion now through january the 9th join for only one dollar and enjoy access to america's number one fitness provider membership includes unlimited tanning personal training and 24-hour nationwide access anytime fitness huntsville is devoted to providing the cleanest gym in town let's make healthy happen for only one dollar at anytime fitness huntsville Back in action here after the timeout. The Cats inbound the ball, leading 84-79. They've got it on the left side. Zach Nuttall with eight seconds. They've got a move here. Manny Crump has it on the right wing. Crump driving in. Baseline loses his handle, puts it up. Right side, it's partially blocked. Gets it back. The putback no good. And the rebound with time off the clock. Rajay Lyons holds on to it. Nichols wanting to work here. Johnson has it on the right side, Manny. DeMarcus Lampley guarding him. It's Ty Gordon now, top of the three. Gordon. As Manny Crump picks him up, Gordon over to the right corner, three-point shot. Y'all won't fall in. Boy, that one rolled in and out. Tough break there for Kevin Johnson, and the Cats want to really take things slow here. 84-79 as Nuttall throws it at the feet, and it's a turnover. Off the left side, the putback, the shot up good by Andre Jones. I'm surprised they didn't call a kickball there as that ball went off the foot of a Nichols Colonels player, and they didn't call it. 84-81, the score. And the Cats got to move it into the front court as they're getting a little sloppy here. Now it's over to Zach Nuttall. Coach told him, hey, get the ball into the front court, guys. Zach Nuttall has it. As he was uh, trying to get a high screen from Powers. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Nuttall, top of the three, working a left-handed dribble. Nuttall goes over to Powers from the left corner. Powers loses his dribble, picks it up, turn around, puts up a jumper. That shot no good, it's an air ball. 13 seconds to go. Nichols with an opportunity here to tie the ball game, trailing by 384-81. I don't know if Johnson realizes it, and finally they get a timeout with 4.6 remaining. Oh, man, what a game here in Thibodeau, Louisiana. It's 84-81, and the Colonels have the ball with four seconds to go. 
We'll step aside on the timeout for 30 seconds. We'll be right back in a few moments on the Bearcat Sports Network. Courage, integrity, perseverance, commitment. Not just a job, this is a career with a purpose. TDCJ is hiring correctional officers now. No experience required, paid training, and a signing bonus of up to $5,000. Apply right now at tdcj.texas.gov or call 877-967-5489. Serve Texas with purpose. Welcome back, friends. We are live in Thibodeau, Louisiana, on the campus of Nickel State University. The Nickel Colonels trailing by three with 4.6 remaining. Oh, man, this has been a good one here this afternoon. The Sam Houston women's losing a tough one earlier today, and now Sam Houston men's trying to hold on. And... Get a victory here on the road to start Southland Conference play. It'd be a huge victory for Sam Houston as they lost both contests last year to this Nichols team. So they're going to come out of a timeout here, and it will be on the court. Jaron Cook, Zach Nuttall, Demarcus Lampley, Dante Powers, and Javion May. Ty Gordon is out there for Nichols. Inbounding is Kevin Johnson. So look for some sort of a give and go because Johnson has hit some threes here this afternoon. They've only got five. They put a little bit more time. 5.2 on the clock. Johnson to inbound. Throws it way over to the right side to Lions. And now a three here at two seconds. That shot no good. They wanted a foul. They didn't get it. And that should do it. Point three on the clock. No call was made. The Nichols were wanting it. They didn't get it. And with point three, all you can do here is inbound and Sam Houston they got to be careful here and just get this one away. With point three, you really just have to get it in. That's it. And the ball's up. That's it. And that is the game. The Bearcats victorious on the road, 84-81, to to start Southland Conference play. We'll step aside and take a break. Post game coming up on the Bearcats Sports Network. The holiday season is here, and that means Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event is too. Come check out these great deals at Wiesner of Huntsville, like a Buick Envision for only $26,986 or a GMC Half Ton Crew Cab for only $36,986. Want something a little smaller? Get a 2020 GMC Acadia for only $25,986 or a Buick Encore GX for only $21,986. These deals won't last long, so hurry down for Wiesner of Huntsville's holiday savings event or shop us online at WiesnerHuntsville.com. Get on out to the Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar for Taco Tuesday with fish or shrimp, fried or grilled. Thursday night is steak night. Charcoal grilled, hand cut, choice Angus ribeye. All you can eat catfish and fries every day for $10.99. The Big Easy sells fresh homemade boudin. Yeah. Packaged and ready for pickup. Great for grilling out at home, the deer lease, tailgating and camp out. Dine in or to go orders at the Big Easy. Full menu and bar at the Big Easy. Big screen TVs and family friendly atmosphere too. And live music every Saturday night. The Big Easy Crawfish and Oyster Bar on Sam Houston Avenue. Open at 11 Tuesday through Sunday. Closed Mondays. B-I-L-C-L. Finally, a reason to celebrate. The holidays and cool weather are here. Don't let Jack Frost nip at your nose. Stay cozy with Bilco Air Heating and Cooling. As a local, family-owned business, we take your comfort to heart. That's why right now we're offering furnace check specials during December and through January. Call 936-646-6691 or visit BilcoAir.com to learn more. Happy holidays, and remember, it's hard to stop a train. B-I-L-C-O and Bilco is the way you go. 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network present the Bearcat Basketball Post Game Show. Now for an in-depth analysis of tonight's game, let's return courtside with Rob Hip. 84-81, your final here in Thibodeau, Louisiana, as the Bearcats take care of business. A close one here throughout as the Colonels got out to an early 15-point advantage back in the first but Sam Houston finding some rhythm and that three-point line really lighting up for him in the second half. DeMarcus Lampley simply went on fire and uh, was a force to be reckoned with here in this ball game. If you would have came into this one and expected Lampley to have 27, close to 30, that would be a lot of questions up in the air. But that's a good sign as we start things in Southland Conference play. This is the first 
of three road games right out of the gate. In fact, the farthest travel of the season for Sam Houston will start with this ball game, and they get on the winning ways early. Lampley finishing up with 27 points as he shot 10 of 16 from the field. He played all 40 minutes. The good sign, Zach Nuttall looked like he tweaked his ankle for a moment, but he hopped back in there at the end. So we will see how he does after this game, maybe put a little ice on it, and hopefully Zach will be okay. We know that he's favored that ankle several times in the past, and hopefully that was just something that will come and go for Zach, and he can continue to be out there. Again, the final 84-81, to Sam Houston picking up the victory tonight. We'll step aside for one more break. When we come back, we'll look at other scores from around the Southland, and we'll go over final stats. This is the Bearcats Sports Network. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas from Adams Furniture. That's right, folks. It's Christmas time. We're having a huge Christmas sale. How about Lazy Boy? $3.99 for a recliner. $4.99. We have a big mattress sale going on with the largest mattress dealer in Huntsville. How about Tempur-Pedic? How about Sealy? 60 months interest-free financing. Listen, we also have a bed. You buy the queen-size mattress, we'll give you an adjustable base for free. Hey, that's a Christmas deal from Rudolph. Come on in, folks. It's happening right now at Adams Furniture. How about sofas for $3.99? Hey, we've got room packs for $8.99. This is a huge Christmas sale going on right now at Adams Furniture. This stuff is in stock at my store. It is ready. All the store has inventory in it. Come in to see us for our Christmas sale. It's going on right now. Remember, that's Adams Furniture at 75 North and 10th Street or shop online at shopatadams.com. We're getting your final here as we approach the 7 o'clock hour from Thibodeau, Louisiana, as the Bearcats take care of business 84 to 81 to open up Southland Conference play. We'll quickly look at final stats here as Sam Houston pulling down 43 rebounds, 13 of them on the offensive side, 30 on the defense. They dished out 13 assists, 17 turnovers, and that was an area that Coach Hooten talked about, an area that they've got to work on. They did it tonight, taking care of business with the ball. And this one as well, seven steals. They scored 15 points off of 14 Nichols turnovers, 32 of them in the paint, and just putting out what they had to on the three-point line. We'll talk about that here in a minute. For the Nichols Colonels, 32 total rebounds. So, Coach said, too, we got to out-rebound them. They did that tonight, 32 on the rebounds for Nichols, pulled in seven on the offensive side, 25 on the defense. They dished out 14 assists and turned it over 14 times. They as well had 32 points in the paint. So the final numbers here statistically for Sam Houston as they shoot 31 of 65 from the field, just under 48%. They were 12 of 24, a perfect 50% from downtown, and 10 of 16 from the charity stripe tonight when they got there. For the Nichols Colonels, they shot 30 of 64 from the field, so not a bad shooting night for the Colonels either as they were right under 47%. 12 of 33, things cooled off very quickly from them for three-point land, and then 9 of 12 from the charity stripe. Leading all scores, we talked about him earlier, DeMarcus Lamb. Finished 10 of 16, 7 of 10 from three points. He had eight rebounds and one assist in 40 minutes, 27 points. Two other players in double digits as well for the Bearcats. Tristan Ikpe finished with 10 points on five of nine shooting in 24 minutes. And then Jaron Cook, as he was four of seven from three-point land, five of eight from the field, he finished with 16 in 22 minutes. There was three players in double digits, four, the, actually four players in double digits for the Nichols Colonels, leading all scorers on their side. A great game brought tonight by Thompson, who in this ball game, or beg your pardon, Johnson was six of 16. He was five of 14 from three-point land, finished with 17 points in 38 minutes. Buford, five of 12 from the field. He had 15 points in 35 minutes. And then Jones, five of nine, 11 points in 33 minutes. So, again, that is your final here tonight as the Bearcats take care of business to open up conference play, and they will move on. And uh, like I said, you got to talk about all of this stuff that's happening here with COVID and everything else. It's great to be back in basketball. And for Nichols, they will next face Lamar as they have a three-game homestand. Sam Houston, of course, starting that today, Lamar, and then southeastern Louisiana. But for your Bearcats, back on the road just Four days from now, back in Hammond, Louisiana, uh, it's about the same amount of drive for me as it goes, at southeastern Louisiana. That's scheduled a 7 p.m. tip-off, and then we will be up at Conway at Central Arkansas on January the 9th 
for a 4 p.m. tip as well. Again, your final tonight, 84-81. Bearcats take care of business. I want to thank everybody back at the KSAM studios, our general manager Dave Donahue, operations manager Steve Ricks, Carlos Zimmerman running the board for us back at KSAM in Huntsville, also Ben Reichard, Cody Stark, and Jason Barfield for all they do with Bearcat Athletics, and of course, Bobby Williams and my beautiful fiance helping out tonight. Bridget Brennan, love you, and thank you for all of your help and uh, helping to run things for me up here. Again, 84-81 your score. We'll be back on the air coming up on the 6th at Southeastern Louisiana. Until then, I remind you on every broadcast, we're not strong enough alone to make it on our own, friends. We need each other. Provide a word of encouragement. Lend a hand of support. Somebody out there tonight needs you. Good night and God bless from Thibodeau, Louisiana. This is a call I make two times a year without fail. I'm talking about all temp heating and air conditioning. We're heading into that time of year where you don't want to have your heating unit quitting on you. So call All Temp Heating and Air Conditioning for a service checkup. For fast, professional services that won't bust your budget, it's got to be All Temp Heating and Air Conditioning. They've been serving Huntsville and Walker County for decades. When you call, they'll send one of their technicians to get your system up and running again. That's All Temp Heating and Air Conditioning. This is Nolan Ryan. So what's it going to be? Hot dog or a hamburger? Hill Country or the Gulf Coast? Making less and making choices, that's life. Choose wisely. Choose American Standard Air, dependable home comfort today and for years to come. You have more important things to worry about than home comfort. Making life simple, that's American Standard Air. Comfort the way you like it. AmericanStandardAir.com That's all temp heating and air conditioning. Call them at 936-291-7836. listening to Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. No portion of this game may be rebroadcast without express written consent from Sam Houston State University. Our broadcast partners for 101.7 KSAM. We are the Bearcat